Oh, I don't want to add us. What am I talking about? I didn't want you guys to see us yet. You'd think we'd know how to do this by now. We do not. Yeah. <laughs> We're you still rookies. You definitely saw us. Oh, gosh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, you weren't saying hi to me. I wasn't saying hi to you. I was saying hi to them. Right. How is everybody? For some reason, I could hear our... Well, wait till they answer. I don't hear you guys. Oh, um, see? What? That's why Vicky gets paid the big bucks. What happened now? We didn't even have to ask. Double uh, thumbs up. Double thumbs up. She can see us and she can hear us. Yep. And before she could just see us and not hear us. We didn't want to be seen. Yeah, no, we hit the wrong button first. I was like, we have four seconds. I took my hat off once already. Is anybody counting? Um, hat count. That was not a stress hat count removal. Was it? No, I don't think so. I uh, hit the button to put us on the live screen and not realizing I never did the intro. That's what happened. Yeah, oopsies. Oh, so welcome, going everybody, yeah. and Happy New Year. I think this is the first time we're officially seeing you. Yes, this in is true. 2023. Right, I'm just telling the kid, don't burn yourself. They have to take dinner out of the oven. It's not done yet. So we kind of forget to eat dinner, and it's in the oven. So I ate, but I wouldn't consider that dinner. This might be a 10-minute Q&A. But I still ate. I doubt it. <laughs> Sorry, 10 <laughs> Yeah, no. When have we ever done a 10 minute QA? Uh, you might call them once, maybe never. Once, never. Seeing everybody's messages coming they're in. They're all coming in. Oh, they're all using their little free happy thingy. They're member They're member stickers. Happy yes. New Year. I think that's totally. Audio's totally a bit choppy. Oh, oh, audio yeah. seems weird. So that's that's the check. second weird. audio. Yeah. Wait that we've seen. All right, let's take a look here. See if. We are pulling audio. We are pulling audio from here. Let's turn it up a little. Oh boy, do again. Test one, two. Oh, that got real bad. Yeah, you guys are red. Does that sound bad? Like if we talk. We might be able to see. Wow, geez. Who's the you? Oh, thank you. They just told to take food out of you. What do you mean the lights are on in the barn? Lights are on in the barn. As in, like, <laughs> like that's not supposed to be. It's so bad. The audio of that. Okay. It says. So those one of the light shows. Why'd you turn that off? I did. The light shows on. So they think. Oh, um, it might be. I might have turned off the wrong thing. What happened? Oh, Tell no. them, please. We'll Something be right else. with you as everybody floods Give in. Give me a second. Listen, we're, it says it's echoing. Do you have two cameras that are Oh, look at that. Laser light show, music light show.
how about now? Oh, wait. Why do we have another person here? What did we just do? Remove. and stream yeah Our we should, they should be able to hear us they should be able to hear us and your browser has lost connection to your mic please okay wait, that's just the problem mind. is oh wait they sound uh, okay thank you. okay we can hear, we can hear. Okay. the question okay. will be huh, how bad does it sound <laughs> listen <laughs> we just went from nothing to something. They're like, well, take it in the mind. We're not going to even it's tell. Don't touch anything. Bad. We're not even gonna... We were sitting here for half an hour. Everything looked good. Yellow lights, green lights, microphones, everything's oh, on. Oh, boy. What happened? It's just still not good. Like, they can hear us, but it's choppy. I think I know why. I know why. Why? House of Pie King is still on. Is it? Is it? No. They just said that. <laughs> oh, my. This is what we're well, I'm pretty do. sure it is. Did this you turn on the camera? Well, what are we doing? Watch this. We are going to see you. Bye -bye. What is happening here? Leave that one. Girl. Okay. So the question now becomes Does it sound better? And is it choppy now? Well, if we don't talk, they can't tell. That is true. I just talked. I asked. I was very calm. I asked. We're down to 414 Ooh, look, people. It looks Better. Ever better. Okay. Sound off when you. Yes. Yes. Not a yes. Whole yes. Sentence together. yes. 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 Better. You know what's happening? The fact that we had two of because I gave you a screen over there so you can see the stuff. When I gave you that screen, it tried to give you a second microphone. So what needs to happen is when I give that screen. I quit. And I bring, I give it, she can't read the questions on the screen because it's too tiny over here. So I gave her her own, but yours so needs to be muted. Me? No, not you at all. I'm blaming me. I'm going to set muted. it up. Mike is working, but it's, but it's muted. Right. So so the it, question it just... becomes, did it just get bad again? Did it get, oh no, it's back. It doesn't sound good. Yeah, that little buzz is all the fans from all the TVs and. And, you know, like all this stuff, all this stuff creates noise and the microphone picks up. It's choppy, choppy again. I just heard choppy. Again. Okay, so turn that Which thing basically off means again. your fancy screen's going Fine, to I'll, I'll deal with it. Okay. Get my laser vision in. Her fancy screen's out of here. Here it goes. Good. Boom. Luck. See ya.
leave. We're going to leave it like that. There we go. We're back to Stone Age. Just hold up signs. We'll just yeah. write and we'll show it to you and then we'll write and we'll show it to yeah. you. Hopefully everybody's doing better than we or are. Or I'll learn sign language. I kind of used to know a little bit. We but... did know sign language. Was that Jake or Quinn? Like More, more please. please. More, more please. please. That was for his carrots. Uh, milk. Milk. I want milk. Yeah, that's squeezing the teeth, right? So milk, more, please. Yeah. And food. And food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We used to know sign language back in the day. Not a, we that was it. We just showed language. you the whole. We literally did baby sign language. Yep, that's it. Yeah, yep. you got All right, her. I think we're good. Okay. Now we can okay. relax a little. Okay. And calm down. I'm yep. calm. Yep. Oh, by the way, nobody on the face of the planet has ever calmed down by being told to calm down. This is true. It does not. Look help. at that. It's excellent now. I really don't like the fact I can't get you your own screen over there. I will deal with it. That's not what we're supposed so to do. So we actually decided, um, there. this was a topic of conversation, because somebody just asked, where's Chai Chai? Uh, Chai Chai is downstairs. And we decided, so is Piper. who is going to be at Q&A tonight for the Frenchies? And we realized that Piper is in heat. Chai probably won't You settle. heard that. She just glazed right over that. Piper's got a poochie coochie. I remember these are not kids friendly, so just so we all know. I've got kids in the room. I'm sorry. You'll have to explain that to them later. Really it makes split. it for a nice bedtime story. Yeah, explain it um, later. But she needed to go relax. Right on Chai's she... four, she's four months old now. So right at four months old, um, she came back into heat. Like, I mean, it's like she's got calendar in there or something. Hold, please. What? Quinn, can you take a picture of the thermometer so we don't burn the food in the oven? You think we get our ducks in a row? Thanks. This is how so, we roll. <laughs> so we voted. We were like, okay, well, if we bring Chai upstairs, she was napping at 5 o'clock. So yep. I was like, great. Yep. She just exhausted herself because uh, Chai and Piper were playing from like 4 to 5. Then they were done. She napped starting at 5 o'clock. And I'm like, she's never going to be tired enough to sleep on the couch by the time we're ready for, for Q&A. And then Piper's in heat, so I don't think it's a good idea to have Piper and Stella on the couch at the same time together because we all know that somebody's going to have some feelings. And Piper usually is easily upset during her cycle. So then we're like, well, let's just go with Old Faithful here. And we know what Stella's going to do this whole time. That. And so here she is. That's what Stella's going to do the whole time. Not yeah. that you can see her any better from that angle. No, well, I think the, the, the normal this that's angle what she is, does. is this is Stella. And Chai is passed out. And Chai is doing the same thing in her crate. Well, not really crate. Um, her little playpen that she's got. So she's all safe. Yeah. And um, I'm not really sure where Piper is. Oh, thank you, P-E-N-K. Oh, you just triggered something. For my uh -oh. 63rd. Better to give. Oh, thank you. So hang and on. And happy birthday. Hang on, hang Hold on. Hold on, we have something special. Something for you. special. Liz. Problem though. Oh boy. We have a problem. Since being on this Q and A, which has been all about yep. mm -hmm. 10, 15 minutes. Now, granted, we had some difficulties. Fifteen minutes, we have lost subscribers. We have. Yep. Yep. You heard it. You heard it we here. We have gone down first. We have. Ethan, I don't blame him. Down. Honestly, I don't blame him. Neither you do I. Think after I would like five too. years of doing this YouTube stuff that we would have our ducks in a row, and we do not. Nope. We don't. We do not. Yep, see? We lost. Whatever. We started this Good live riddance. stream with... with. You gotta let it go. 25,340. I'm gonna go to song. Now we're at 25,000. Start singing. 339. Let it go. And yesterday we were at 25,341. We've gone down two. Okay. 
Not that I care. Peace out. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Hang on. Relax there, killer. Okay, let's remove that from the screen until you let you calm down a little. <laughs> Again, nobody has ever calmed down from being told they need to calm down. I know this is true. Their losses. That's right. Okay, so. Zero. Oh, sorry. Did you just, that wasn't even part of Reading that this question. This isn't how Q&A works. Let's go over the rules of Q&A. Aaron, shut up. Rule number one. Rule number two. Go back to rule number one. Okay. That was the question I said zero to, just so we all know. So um, Q&A, we have questions that have been emailed and submitted in for review. For review. And we have them all tucked away on our side of the camera. Yep. Where she can now not read because our TV is not working. That Listen, part. I had LASIK a few years ago. I can still read over there. Okay, good. So... Um, we're going to get to those questions first, and then we're going to get to chat questions. And I am pointing because that's where my questions are coming from. So my, my questions that were written in over here and my live chat is over here. Um, we got another one. Yeah. What? And 75. Uh, now it's a competition. I'm who's still, oldest? All right. Who's the oldest person watching? Now I'm just going to ask. And no lying. <laughs> no lying. I you feel like you had to say that to a particular someone. Chris West, no lie. <laughs> I was going to go with Typo Queen. Chris like, West even still here? Where is she? I, I don't know. She her probably was one of the ones that said unsubscribe. That could have been her. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, no lying. Do we have anybody older than 75, anybody 76, 76, 70, 77? Do we hear 76, 75, 75 and a half? 77, 77, 77. So 55. Nope, that's no, not over. 105. 105. Yeah, See, right. See, I told you. Okay. <laughs> we might feel like we're 105, Ooh, but I we are not. It. Oh, 76. We oh, got one. Oh, we have a 76. 71, 79. I mean, obviously, it's one of the chat rules. We don't ask Hold personal on. information. Oh, yeah, and we I just broke the okay. rule. <laughs> we, we've got a we 78. We didn't actually have to put your real answer. I we mean, have an 83. 35. Woo! We got a young one in the crowd. I think that's one of our dudes, too. Oh, yeah. one of our seven dudes that's yeah. left. We yep. used to be up to like 21. 28. Days. Whoa, we've got a couple of young ones. Look at them go. Boo. <laughs> he just goes, boo. Boo. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, that was fun for those that wanted to play, but I'll never ask you your age again. I didn't just realize it. feeling did. like 120 counts. Yeah. Woo! Another oh, 499. Man. That's all there. 499. What was our highest was 83? 83, I Sharon think. Sharon wins. Yeah, I saw 83 up there. Sharon wins. I don't know Sharon what we're wins. winning. What are we winning? I don't know. I was just wondering. YouTube says they're all 45. No, 45 that's not plus, what they say. Well, Sharon's got the plus part. Yes, this oh, is that... true. <laughs> 45 plus could be fit. That was it's not a dig fine. to old people, I no, swear. No, not at all. Oh, I, I identify it. as an 83-year-old. <laughs> Does that count? No, 75 in honor of my 23rd. And all, oh, my goodness. Wait a second. Now I'm wondering. Is that her 23rd anniversary of, of being, being 75? No, no, that would put her like, <laughs> no. Listen, I am still 29 plus expedite. Let's talk about Now that we're on birthdays here, we're just going to put it out there. Okay. Does anybody know how old this one's turning? In like. Why would we talk about such negativity? In, in like. um. No, they do th know. 30 something days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I quit. Yep. Exactly. It's, Hi, it's, that's a, it's be a big such year. A, such a number. It's not. It's the new 20. Yeah. Again, I identify as an old person. <laughs> <laughs> She's got plans. No, oh, I have plans. All right. That hopefully include she, walking. I don't know. She will put into place, but that's it. I've been told not to hold a big, like, hurrah thing, but no. Yeah. That's, it. That's all I got. <laughs> but it's coming. It's coming. It's on the way. And you can't stop it. It's like a freight train. Just like taxes. Why you have to so deal with it. so negative right now. <laughs> Why do you got to be like that? All right. That? Now that we're all in a good mood, I'm going to go straight into this question. Get it off our chest. No shit is the answer to that question. Sorry, Debbie. I'm not this trying to be rude to you. This is the year of cussing like a sailor. <laughs> yeah. I'm not Apparently trying to be rude. Apparently, we're not sugarcoating anything anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the real Listen Aaron Q&A. No, if you want that, come over to my channel. That's where we poop and swear all the time. I don't poop. You... That's not what I meant. We... <laughs> we talked about poop on one video, and I can't remember why. Oh, it's because it was after my surgery, and when you have surgery, <laughs> you, you get constipated. 
Oh, and, please. Yeah. I have four kids. I know all about that. And, and you feel like, you're like, ah, ah, oh my God, it's got to be, what? <laughs> it's the size of an egg like, corn. It's an egg corn that felt like it was a cucumber. <laughs> Sideways. <laughs> Sorry, oh. it's been a while. There's we, not enough. So my answer to this question is, of course, we, we are extremely class. apprehensive about this year. To the point where Liz tried to cancel. Um, True. Goat, goat, I had like a... goat, uh, goats in general. She just tried to cancel it all. Cancel goats. Um, um, yeah, no. So yeah, before we have to just laugh it all off right now. Before breeding season came around, I had a very serious conversation right outside the barn in my comfy Adirondack chairs. Nope. And I was like, okay, what do we do? Breed it was all. like September. Hold on, October, I wasn't done. Right? Breed all of them. Breed. Breed none of them. Breed half of them. And I was like, well, did you just say breed none of them? And she's like, yeah. I was weighing she towards... literally asked me from How a business family. How much milk fam- do we have in, yeah. the fr- in the freezer? Can we make it I was like, look. Years? And I literally said, I go, you know what? We could get to the point where Simon Says Farms as a business becomes a little bit of ad revenue from YouTube, T-shirts, blankets, and lip balm, and basically everything we can do without milk. Maybe premium soaps, the super fancy stuff, and just stop doing everything else and bring it all back when we decide to breed again. So I gave her the option, like, yes, anything can be done, but we would not be able to continue as normal. Like, lotion takes a ton of milk. Lotion is the worst when it comes to calculating how much milk does it take to produce X amount of top line revenue how much milk does it take to produce 100 bottles of lotion 100 bottles of lotion anything like the is, how many licks does it take to get to kind the of okay but like if you take 100 bottles times 20 dollars, that's how much they sell for on the website how much milk okay. does it take to produce that how much milk does it take to produce ultimately the, same? the answer was no the ultimately the answer was no when we bred goats so we yeah we're here but yeah of course it's very apt Comprehensive. I, I think every... if we can all get through last kidding season, we can make it through this kidding season. And I'm not putting that out there to any of the goat gods. So, if I'll, like, let's not tempt fate. But I mean, yeah. we lost. Yeah, there we had such a loss last year that I think going into this this kidding season, there's going to be things where I've already said I'll freeze my butt off before I turn that heater on into the in the barn because that's a trigger for me. It'll bring me right back to uh the time we were fighting for moo to live and then stall one kidding stall one how do i put anybody in there that was the last goat that was in there where the where it was moo well isn't and winnie and winston isn't the plan and this might answer a question coming up soon Mm -hmm. winnie and winston are going into stall one i think but it's also prime prime camera space for for mom watch i don't want to have a right. mom who's going to be giving birth in any moment to be in one of the back stalls where there's no camera i can move cameras we can make it work so yeah all right we're well, moving on to another question yeah very light-hearted one do you ever drink hot coffee or iced coffee only really only iced I drink hot occasionally. Like when I go hunting and I go down into the woods, I carry yeah. my little cup. I bring the hot one. I'll do it. And sometimes I'll do hot coffee. Like, I don't know. Like I did hot coffee when we went to the diner. Oh. Remember when we went out for See, breakfast? Yeah, I did orange juice because I didn't want to do iced coffee. Yeah, when we went out for breakfast, we went to an old diner down the road, like a normal, like they give you the creamer and the little plastic things. Yeah. And I did hot coffee then. So right. I'll do it occasionally. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh it's one of those things like I just prefer ice. But if it's like particularly cold, you know what I really like and they don't make them anymore. Oh, uh, Dunkachino. Come on now. It's literally just coffee with it and a hot chocolate. And hot chocolate. I know, but then why can't they do it? Yeah. I'd like half and half, please. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe that's how you order it now. Half hot chocolate, half yeah. coffee, please. I need a Media, a small hot chocolate and a small French vanilla light and sweet. And can you put them both in the same cup? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try that. Okay. You should, you large. Try. Large, please. Large. Mm. Not over ice. Large cup. No, no. I mean, it's got to go in a large, two small oh, cups yeah. go in a large cup. Okay. Next, next. question. Moving right there along. There you go. You can read it from there. Peggy asks, now that you have bought a Tesla, what 
was the added cost to add the service box to charge it. I imagine your electricity costs have increased more now too. So we don't know the answer yet because we bought the charger itself. It's here. We have not had the electrician wire it up yet. So the question is up in the air as to what will it cost and what's it going to take. So we can't answer that question. We don't know yet. Mm -hmm. It was actually a question I had for other electric car owners. So we don't know the answer. The convenience factor of being able to have a gas station at your house, basically, mm -hmm. and leaving with your car completely topped off every day right. is a great thing. And the charger is actually designed, and we could set this feature. I don't even know if I ever told you. In the charger, we could design the charger can be so smart that it will only charge the car when the rates for electricity are lower, which is at night. So there's like the charger is smart enough to talk to the electric company and talk to the car. And the three of them have a little powwow. It's off. It's off. It's off peak, peak charging hours. It's just like how you would do it. Right. Um, like you're supposed to run your washer dryer in the middle in of the, the you know, but, in the evening because it's, but I think I have to call the electric company and say, Hey, I want to set up to be able to get mm -hmm. off peak rates. Because what will happen if you do that for any electric car person out there, if you plug the car in when you get home and it's like 4 o'clock in the summer, well, from 4 o'clock to like 9 o'clock at night, it's not going to do anything. It's going to be plugged in, but it won't charge because it knows right now it's not off peak. Right peak. ACs are running. People are hot. Like it's the, it's going to start charging when the sun goes down later. That could become a problem. If you were hoping it would, you're charging regularly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You just have to be aware. So we don't know the answer to either of those two questions yet, because we're not charging at home. But it's equivalent to like seven cents a mile, and in a gas car at about twenty five miles to the gallon, regular gas car, I think you're up at like, depending on how much gas is. Heck, if gas is three dollars a gallon, and you get 20, 20, 20 miles to the gallon, you're at fifteen cents a mile. We're half that. We're at seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. cents a mile right now so those are the questions we can answer there all right next question i saw a bunch of i don't know what they're talking don't about don't answer those questions i know i know they're, they're, they're just so done. chatty today um yeah but we can't get to those for how long at other places and what do they charge a kilowatt so that's uh, right now they're charging 30 cents 36 okay. cents per yeah. kilowatt but that's for supercharge which means you can get from like no battery all the way up to 80 percent in i want to say like 15 20 minutes it, yeah you can get from long zero... enough to go into the bath into the you know into a restaurant or a store wherever the charger charging port is and grab a snack go to the bathroom come back and you can get from zero to about 80 if you want to push it all the way to the 100 it's going to take about, another takes about another 20, 20 minutes, minutes. It's about 40 to go all the way up yeah. that's where if you watch today's video which not a lot of people watched the one with the title of tyler welding there's actually a lot more information in the that video than just welding so after this if you want to go watch it you can that would be appreciated because i didn't know how to title that video there's everything from barn stuff to house of pie stuff to me playing the drums while i wait for the tesla to charge you didn't see that yet did you it was exciting mm -hmm. yeah. you want to see it here no no okay <laughs> um but yeah it, we were she was in the car talking to one of Jake's teachers. I took Jake. This was no longer a teacher conversation. Yeah. Let's just be honest. The first five minutes of that conversation was, how did his PPT go? Somebody watched it. And I, and I was like, oh, blah, 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 blah. And then it was, and she's down in Key West, Florida. Oh, get this. Down in Key West, Florida. for That her, drum set was really fun, by the way. For her sister's wedding. Ooh. Okay. That's not happening. Oh, ouch. Okay. So they're down in Florida celebrating uh -oh. and and supporting her sister on a day that's not going to be very much that should have been getting married but uh, now they're gonna you know celebrate it and uh oh and they all flew there already like they, they all knew they all kept their reservations they all flew uh, down there knowing that a wedding wasn't happening so i've always wondered but the venue was already paid for they don't give refunds nope. for that so let's go to hotel the hotel rooms everything so they're gonna have a party just not a wedding that's not good uh can i put a chat on slow it's, mode you know, no not it's, right now it's all about perspective so when you have a perspective of like we're gonna make this a good day instead of like sitting there wallowing yeah i you get know, it you, you get your yeah. village you get your tribe and yeah stick together yeah 
Yep. So. I just was wondering. Yes. If it was somebody like, when they say at the wedding, okay, if there's anybody in a crowd that objects to this, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, apparently for, the groom. Yeah. Like, but <laughs> obviously it didn't happen then. They weren't, they, they no, knew no. ahead of time. Okay. No, this. Because that would They suck. broke up like a month or two ago or whatever. Right. And all that stuff was already And it was paid already paid for, paid for gotcha. and whatever. Yeah. And they couldn't get the refund oh, back. Wow. So they just Ooh. celebrated and Okay. They all kept their reservations. I know some of you think chat's going a little fast, but that is considered excitement, and it's a good thing. So we're going to leave it that way for now. Should for now. see it when there's a thousand people in the barn and a baby's coming out. Who does chat move? Who are they talking about? Nobody you know. Nobody we know. <laughs> yeah, it was. No, we know my them. point was Liz was on the phone talking to this person about that wedding story while I was inside playing drums while the car was being uh, charged. See, you, you get a lot done. And that drum set was really fun. And I was like, oh, that's oh, that's an expensive toy. And uh, we walked away from it. Yeah. So Terry asks, um, Liz, with Gia not getting pregnant or possibly being infertile, could that be a result of the Cash Valley fever when in utero? So I don't think mm -hmm. Gia was the product of Cash Valley. Um, I'm you not really sure. Me. What? I think we went down again. Go we ahead. Went down what? Keep talking. What do you mean we went? Listen! Do we go down again? Sayonara. That's because we said the word shit earlier. <laughs> okay. I said it again. Whatever. Let's see if we go down again. These weren't our people. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> These um, weren't our people. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Um, I don't think... Gia... We're up to 500 watching, though. Can somebody please subscribe? Make me feel better? I'm just kidding. I've told Quinn... I'll get and to your Tyler. question, Terry. I'm sorry. This hasn't changed. Tyler. In... It wasn't his New Year's resolution. No, it wasn't. Tyler in his, um, you know, little YouTube adventure he's on, do not get your emotions wrapped up in the amount of followers. My emotions are not. Somebody else left. I'm just kidding. Nobody <laughs> else up. left. That was a joke. Okay, go ahead. Continue your question about. Okay. Yes. Back to Terry's question. Yep. I will be quiet. Thank you. Um, no, I don't think it's a result of Cash Valley. Um, I actually think it was something. Would you? Jeez, he's taking a selfie with the dog now. Just continue. <laughs> I think she could be a free Martin. Now, if you don't know what a free Martin is, it means that she doesn't really have the parts to carry a baby. Um, she's hormonally she is going through heat cycles she even has um hormones to make a little bit of a precocious udder meaning there's there's milk in one half of her um one half of her udder but she's never been bred before and she's now done this two falls in a row so there's something hormonally going on that isn't quite right and um the only way to really check that out is to do some blood work which i might actually do in when the when Dr. Kara or Dr. Lindsay come for prenatal checkups six weeks before kidding. Yes. I'll probably do... pull some blood from Gia and just see is she in fact a free Martin. It just it would explain a whole lot. Well, why don't we then pull some blood from Thor and see if he's actually an Alpine? Oh, I was gonna I was gonna go with pull some blood from Thor and see if he actually has an IQ. <laughs> well, but maybe the test will tell us both. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, yeah. Well, know. you can pull from 80, too. You get that. Yeah. That's not how that works, by the way. So, in order to find out whether she is Hagenberg, Alpine, La Mancha, whatever, um, that would have to be done by DNA. Hair. Like oh, hair. not just hair the bloodline. Got it. Yeah. Not just the blood thing. Uh, yeah. yeah, we don't milk precocious others i don't know like oh boy oh boy please keep slamming that door yeah i don't know what it's that the was. mudroom door that was the mudroom right yeah that was not the basement no no i know the sound yeah. of the mudroom door it makes it very because it's a metal door versus a wood door and i just know the difference stop um slam so the follow-up question is about artificial insemination and here's my thought about that um <clears throat> And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say what I, I think I want to say. No, no, go ahead. On this episode, no. we say everything. No, 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 because oh. <laughs> I don't want to say I don't believe in it and then go and do it in a couple. Years. Right, I get so, it. Right, right, right. But for Gia specifically, 
because she can't do this naturally on her own. Yeah. What if something is going on? Okay, A, what if she doesn't have a uterus? Like, that's going to make a big difference. That's why she's not getting pregnant. <coughs> but what if she does have all the parts, but, like, hormonally, her body doesn't know what to do? So now we force her to have babies that she doesn't, her body doesn't know how to carry, and now right. something happens, whether she loses them midterm, whether she has sickly babies. So it's kind of one of those things, like, if Mother Nature doesn't want it to happen, then we don't want it to happen. That, okay. that was my feeling about it. You're good? Yes, are you good? Yeah. <laughs> Please we, do it so he stops we, talking about it. We got one. I'm just saying. We got one. That was Please it. just appease him and just hit the button so that we can move on. <laughs> it's it's going to be a long year. Because next year I'm making him, like, vow to... Here we go. Another one. Okay. Rolo asks, will Winnie and Winston be allowed with other goats before babies come? So the operative word there is before. Yeah. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. But the timing of everything. It's going to be a perfect move around. Right. I yeah. think with the timing of everything, we're going to end up um, moving everybody into stalls. So it's going to be different this year. Talk it through. Like mm -hmm. last year, it was, oh my God, that girl looks like she's about to have a baby. Put her in a kidding stall. An hour later, she or, has a baby. Or that one's having a baby. Let's build a kidding stall. Around her. Around her, right. Um, yeah. This year, it's going to be, okay, it's this day, that day on the calendar, whatever day you pick, whenever that comes. All pregnant moms get their own kidding stall. I don't care if you have eight days left or 18, it doesn't matter. They all get their own kidding stalls, which is good. Big pain in you. Because now you got all have their own waters, all have, and they're not going to be all heated waters. Yeah, like, I know. It's going to be a big pain, especially if we get cold. Um, but they all have their own stall. And now we just move the camera as they get closer. And we'll try to set up the camera to make it like, okay, these two almost put them in order by like, okay, these two should probably go pretty close together. These two are going to be next week. They're going to be in due know, date order. In due date order, and pretty much. And historically yep. speaking, this one likes to go five days early, which, thank goodness, Sadie is done because she's done having babies. But, yep. you know, historically speaking, we kind of have an idea of this pregnancy usually goes to 153 days. This one, she can kind of float right around her due date. Um, some of them we have no idea because they're too, right. they're too young. Um, which well, we don't have any first time moms this year. Gio mm -hmm. is going to be our only first well, time mom. So we only have seasoned moms. So, um, you know, our newest mom is still going to be Chanel. Right. Yeah. It's funny. Oh, I'm going to yawn. Hang on. Oh boy. Ooh. Here, I got rid of the yawn. Um, Claudia is funny. She just said something in chat that I was thinking of weeks ago with this new setup this year. She goes, you need eight cameras, one in each stall. Oh, Lord. It's funny you said that because I've already thought of that. Um, we do not. You can't even keep one camera going does, during the th night. That doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You install eight, mm -hmm. right, or whatever, and now camera. it's just a button in the house. Okay. You change. What if you have a Sadie Harper situation? Then you've got problems. Or an Amy Greta situation. Then you pitcher and pitcher. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I have thought of that. Yeah. setting up and then that's a one-time expense one time wire up the whole barn and it's like literally changed camera four camera four is kidding stall four camera five right mm -hmm. and things like that i've thought of it i have not gone through with that plan but i've thought of it yeah i like one camera that can look at three girls yeah and we could still do the that we still have girls. that one yeah. that one up there that looks at one that two. sounds like it's excessive it, it is excessive mm -hmm. it is but i thought of it it was not a bad idea. I went through it in my head, and I'm like, yeah, I don't think that's going to really work. But, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Think about it. They do it in jails all the time. They've got one camera in every I stall. I mean, we do call this Gen Pop. Next, uh, yeah. <laughs> moving on. Next question. All right. Here we go. Okay. So, I said several villagers asked because there's probably three or four of you that this is, like, the talk of everybody wants to know. What's going on? Where are Winnie and Winston going to be housed when the moms go into their birthing areas? 
So because Evelyn and Gia did not take this year, that left room for Winnie to be able to stay in the barn, which was kind of a key thing. So when Evelyn didn't come into heat, or when Evelyn came back into heat after being bred, I decided that's what I needed. I actually needed somebody to not take so yeah. that we would have room for Winnie to be able to stay in Cassie's castle while kidding season's happening. Um, and now that Gia didn't take either, we now kind of have a double area for them. Now, I don't know if they'll go in a smaller area and have outside time on their own um, during the day with some hay underneath the porch. It all depends on what the weather's going to be like. But nobody is going to be allowed in Gen Pop, the big area that, that you guys see most mostly in, in Cassie's Castle. Nobody is going to be allowed in Gen Pop during kidding season. And that is to help give that area, that ground time to dry up and not that it's wet, but it's really for parasite control. It's a parasite thing. So Dr. Muck Lindsay, it out and keep it dirt. Right. Dr. Lindsay said um, about 45 days before. Oh, thank you. Somebody just did. I saw, gifted a bunch. I saw a gifted memberships, which I got to do something for you members. I keep it's winter and it's like too cold for virtual goat snuggles and wacky Wednesday. We can't start them at four. It's kind of weird, but we might have to do something. And then I saw that one come into the 1999 up there for the, from the. Right. So Dr. Lindsay said, if we can keep gen pop area poop free, fresh poop free for about 21 days then that's ideal. So if they go into their kidding stalls two weeks before they're due and stay for two weeks after they've had their baby, that is a full 30 days. And now when they all go back into Gen Pop, it should be um, as parasite free as we can get. Which means, and this goes back to moving cams, the OG cam in the top corner would kind of be silly looking over a area of empty stall so it's probably going to get moved i don't know where it's going to go once we muck that out for that last time when they all go into their kidding stalls i don't know where i'm going to put that camera i have no idea yet so um it'll go somewhere that makes you feel like you're part of the action yeah. um but we just don't know where yet uh i'm going to put this one up It's like it triple the size in, say, the, in that video. We need to go make a new one of him. He's just huge. like that. Get him up on the stand. I don't even have to bend down to kiss him. Like, he's like eye level with me. Him and Thor. Oh, he's such a baby. He's there. probably 40 pounds in that video, and he's like 240. 240 now. now. <laughs> you want to talk about over conditioned goats? Yeah. All of House of Pie boys are so fat. I'm not even going to call them fluffy anymore. They don't even deserve that title because they're just downright fat. Yeah. Like in the best way possible. Oh, just like me. That's not the best way possible. Oh, stop it. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Another question. Crazy Cats and Mel asked, will Asher and... I need a new co-host. I can't... <laughs> no! Are you serious right... Asher okay. and Yoshi Wait. stay in the red barn for Story the time. Or... Oh my God. Story time. I quit. I'm done. I'm leaving. I got one of these buckets during my hip surgery. With a note. With a note. No. Yes. What? No. Oh, yeah. One bucket. <laughs> one bucket with a note. With a note that said share with Liz. So I did. In some video somewhere. It was our Christmas one. We our Christmas saying, one. Said, we were saying thank you for all of the gifts. and we were Especially naming. the chocolate covered pretzels. And the other and, soft pretzels with all of the dipping sauces that I left home. That's and, like the best. And then the next thing you know, about a week later. No, no, she has this on Amazon Prime. This was like two days later. And they probably would have done overnight shipping had it not been Christmas. A but box shows up, a rather large one, with two of those in it. One for Aaron and one for Liz. Now you have your own box. And they sat on each side of the bed. Don't tell them that, and, that we eat them in bed. Gosh, this is my problem. <laughs> okay, back to your question. Snacking. I, I love snacking. <laughs> that 
I literally snacked for dinner the other night. Yeah. He goes, I've been eating appetizers for dinner lately. I was like, I know I feel snacky too. <laughs> I'm so snacky. <laughs> I look over there, I'm pouting. Look, look, look I'm pouting. <laughs> it's look, funny to see yourself. I mean, look at this. Ready? It's Steve Urkel. Hello. Steve Urkel's in chat. Ready? Did I do that? Oh, it I, was you. I did, did I do that? <laughs> yep, it was you. Stella, I'm so sorry. Can we get back to Crazy Cat's question? Well, yes, Crazy Cat's question. I feel like we we're crazy. Back. We're crazy over here. Okay, go back. Will Asher and Yoshi stay in the red barn? for the winter or be separated in outside pens. So they are still living in the red barn and they have their singular outdoor area and they're sharing the frat house quite nicely. Yeah, they're doing fine. Um, and they're going to stay there until spring. And then so just like we'll kind of see where that goes. Cause Gus is going to move, which is another question coming. And I don't know, like, they have to eventually move out when they're big boys. Yeah. Which I know they're both big boys now. So that way we can take down all really those big boys. FEMA trailer things. Well, we're going to need them. Clean all that up. Right. No, we're not. Just no, we're not. We're we not don't need them. Unless. <clears throat> no, you can't do that. No. You can't. Okay, here you go. Speaking of the devil. Okay, so when is Gus moving to House of Pie? So uh. Gus was castrated. And Dr. Lindsay said, give him, oh, well, first of all, doc, what did I say? Dr. Lindsay? You did. I did. Okay. You were right. Okay. In my brain, I said a different name, which is why I got confused there for a second. So Gus was castrated. Dr. Lindsay said that, you know, give him a good seven to 10 days. He'll be fine. Move him over to the house of pot. And then like 15, 20 minutes later, we're moving him back to his pen and she goes are there any girls that he's going to be moving in with when he moves into house of high and i'm like why yes yes there are there's danica and i don't know at that time no we knew yeah, evelyn. Danica and evelyn evelyn was already over there so i was oh. like yeah um danica and evelyn are over there and she goes "Ooh, give him like four to six weeks because he could be fertile for that amount of time post castration I'm like, well, thank well, goodness like, you said good something. Because we're going to move him in a couple days. Yeah. And he would have loved to try yep. to get Danica pregnant. And that would have been awful. Just yeah. super duper awful. So um, we're giving him more time than we think he needs. Would you? Oh, my God. These are pity sub that, subscriptions that now. Was a, that was no, a little they're quiet. They're pity subs. That was a quiet thing. They're going to all on pity subs. after the stream is over. That's what it is. Yep. Mm -hmm. I they just feel saw bad it. I for wanted you. that person to be recognized. You're pathetic. I, it wasn't Next. me. That was for them, not for me. That okay. was so they knew I recognized their effort of click. Okay, Nick. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> anyway, you tell the kids not to be all like it subconscious. Was fun. I ah, subconscious. <laughs> oh, that was it was funnier to so, me. <laughs> <laughs> he got it. It took a long time. I was like, why are you elbowing me saying Because I made it funny and you didn't get it. <laughs> Come on, you're supposed to be subconscious. Did you get it? You guys got it, because you've got mm -hmm, you got it up here. Wow. That hurt. <laughs> your brain or your <laughs> My ego. Oh, I got the giggles and the heat flash all live. You got the heat flash? Ooh, yeah, menopause, menopause, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I'm still waiting for one of these kids to tell me that you were going to say you're ham, still waiting. Ham is out of the oven. We have a little ham in the oven, and it, it, it needs to come out. I might have to run. All right, where are we at? Where are we at? Never mind. All right. I'm not really sure. I think Breathe. we're at Gus. Okay. We're at Gus. We're he's, here. He's gonna move later. I don't know. <laughs> later, we don't know. I have when. a timer, and there's really no reason to move him right now. <laughs> when uh, did he get castrated? Oh, I don't remember. December. No, yeah, we'll get the ultrasounds right here. If you, this day, we'll get the love and life uh, question in a minute. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Well, five weeks. He's only a five. He can weeks. move next weekend. A couple more weeks. I no, don't know. next weekend is six. Sure. Six and a half weeks. Okay. Okay. See, she got it Tuesday. She got her to go. Nope. 
Don't know. Nope, says it'll be six weeks on Tuesday. There okay. you go. Okay. Uh, Love and Life asks, are Winnie's ears bigger than Winston's? Well, I get my tape measure. Don't know, out, but we but... can measure them. Why you not? think she'd like that, huh? Sure, why not? Okay. Watch live. You, you get to do it. Tomorrow I'll hold or the pepper something. Man. I don't know when. Okay, so. We'll record it. You just gave me a content I idea. We're going to go measure ears. I actually always thought Winston's ears were bigger. We'll but they have different shapes. Okay, do you heads. measure from here to here? Tip to base. Or from here to way down here. To uh, we well, just had to pick one and keep it I'm standard. pretty sure she'll shake her head like. A million times. Oh, she's gonna hate you. She Don't do this. Don't We're gonna try. Torture the poor thing. Maybe. I cannot endorse this. I do not approve this message. Okay, very much asks Do you expect Yoshi to keep his sweet personality as he grows older, even under the influence of Rut? Well, first of all, I like the whole under the influence, but I think he's gonna keep it. Because... Oh, there's Chris West. She's back. Sorry. Oh, yeah, we were talking about her earlier. Checking the mail for she my puppy. She just woke up. Nope. Um,. I think he's going to keep his personality because, like, Giovanni always kept his. He was nice and sweet. Gus has always been a big pain in the ass, so he kept that. Yeah. Um, Asher's becoming a big pain in the butt. No, he's oh, not. Oh, yes, he not is. Not a safety risk like Gus was. That's very true. Exactly. Different kind of pain in the butt. See, Asher has always been very headstrong, but he's not mean about it. He's, yeah. He just doesn't have boundaries. He's a boy without boundaries. Yeah. So, now I think Yoshi will stay. I mean, like, he's just a he big teddy bear. And his doofy little face yeah. is just so cute. Yeah. That's our kidding season oh. theme. Dude. Our kidding theme this season is under the influence. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Uh, David asks, Liz, are you planning on keeping a few of the babies this year? My neck hurt. Mine doesn't. Mine did. Um... <clears throat> I cannot confirm nor deny that we will or will not be keeping. She keeps one baby babies. this year, a moo baby girl from Mina, if I'm correct. Did I say that right? I mean, if, if she has... Right, Mina's a moo baby. If yes. Mina has a girl and it's It's got to be like, the right girl. It's got to be the right girl. Yes. Then there's the baby we keep. We Every kept year, it's the same question. Many last year. I'm just prepping you guys all now, so don't get bum hurt if we don't keep any, because we kept too many last year. Seven, right? Felt like seven. That's it. Okay. Winnie, Winston, um, Dolce, uh, the one with Lucy. Bonnie doesn't even know. <laughs> that is Bonnie. That's Bonnie. Okay. Who else? Somebody in chat help me out. Gianna. Gianna? That was the that was the circumstance. And what was the circumstance? Last Giovanni baby. Okay. Know, aren't you happy we yep. kept her? Uh-huh. Okay. Especially here since is Gia's Big not. Sin, thank you. Okay. And then we bought two. Yoshi and, and Asher. With that bus. Eight. I'm Don't not you running back you over. over me I'm while just you're at saying, it. We have to play it like a roller coaster. That was a big year of keeping. This is a big year of not keeping. That does not mean 2024 is a big year of keeping. I'm just saying. For us to maintain a good herd dynamic. Oh, I was going to say maintain a good marriage. Oh, that. <sighs> I'm done. <laughs> Next question. Okay, so hold on a second. Yep. Because do you know how long I have been waiting for Baby Swiss Box? Do you know? You have Baby Swiss Box. I have one and I had to castrate him. You still have a baby with spots. And I already said you might be getting a Mina baby, maybe. Well, she, she doesn't have spots. Then you don't get a Mina baby this year. You wait another year. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Everybody stay tuned. The answer is don't ask that question again. <laughs> <laughs> it causes marital disputes. <laughs> and, well, the refrigerator <laughs> caused marital disputes in the middle of... <laughs> you, you fell get, into that did one. Did you guys watch the refrigerator you video? Felt we were in the refrigerator talking to you. Yeah, and, uh, and if I bought a Hummer, it would have hurt our marriage. No, H2. you said, and then things got complicated, and all uh, I did was yes. made a reference, like our marriage. Yeah. And that's not what you meant, and that's... Yeah. It was a funny... What yep. I said anyway. Okay, where were we? Uh, David asked, do you plan on keeping... Thanks, David. I'm just <laughs> kidding. 
<laughs> there you go. Note to self. <laughs> Never accept questions from David. David just Enter. wrote David just wrote down in his goat notebook. Never ask about <laughs> keeping goats if Aaron's around. I'm just kidding. Of course she's gonna keep something. But we really gotta you play. You make me sound like a hoarder. We gotta play. <laughs> That's not my point. <laughs> my point is it comes down to every goat costs money. I know. We only have so much. All this work we're doing with the land is because we have too many goats on the land and we got to play the, oh, how do we rotate and what do we do? with? Now we have to lime the field and I didn't buy any lime and I got to go to the store. Yeah. So that's it. That's what I'm saying. Happy I'm going to go back to the OG. Oh. Val and C, and, and <laughs> she just reminded, well, doesn't it depend on what you get? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I say it in her southern accent because I can hear her saying it in my ear. Yes, it oh, depends on what I get. Somebody already got them. Never mind. It depends on what is born. And I've always said I have room for exceptions. I don't have room for everybody. By the way. Apparently yeah. there were six exceptions this year. You're probably right. Last year. What? I'm right. Can you yeah. say that again? Yeah, hang on. This say is why. Because we got a subscriber. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And you have to subscribe in order to chat. So that bot that just was chatting and um, the sex friend, whatever, and Kim took care of it, they were probably the one that subscribed to help me. It was a garbage subscriber. Right. They're not our people. They're Aaron. not our people. They're not our people. All right. So not it's our quality over quantity. <laughs> not our people. Go find your people somewhere else. Okay. There you go. I Where think are we now? I, I don't know. Where are we at? Oh, okay. Joanne asks, have you thought of making a shout out maybe by local radio for used Christmas trees in your local area? Now let me say let me no. let me say. No. No. I'm not it's going to. It's very complicated. Like our, our marriage. marriage. <laughs> I knew you were going there. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's very complicated, like asking the question if we're keeping goats. That's a complicated question. Not so, as a not 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 as hot as the uh, keep a goat question because it makes him ruffled all over there. So, okay, here's why we don't ask for people's old Christmas trees. Um, if they bought them at Loaves or Home Depot or Deep Depot, one of those big, big boxes, they were sprayed with so many chemicals that we cannot give them. Even if they tell you they weren't, they probably were. No, they were. So yeah. between any kind of like pesticides or fertilizer that the that these big Christmas tree farms use, and um, fire retardant, a lot of Christmas trees that are sold in these big boxes, they are sprayed so that they don't catch fire. Plus, Christmas trees go up fast, real fast. Real fast. Um, and then, God forbid, you get that like one stray hook. That's on your Christmas tree, and we feed it to the goats, and now they eat that hook. Or that ornament. That's bad news. Or maybe some tinsel. And then tinsel, yeah. yeah. So. So it's kind of all bad. It's a lot of no's. Yeah. Um, we stick with pumpkins. That's pretty much what we tell everybody. That's like, hey, can I bring over my old Christmas tree? We're like, no, sorry. We just, if we end up taking a Christmas tree, we're using it in a bonfire, not for the goats. Right. Um, but. We give our goats pumpkins after Thanksgiving right. and stuff like that. That's what we do. We don't do the Christmas tree thing. Right. Yep. Yeah, and that's just to play safe. And then there's like some really a small percentage of um, Christmas trees that are different varieties. Like there's so many different varieties of Christmas trees and some of them can cause abortions in pregnant goats. And so I'm just, I'm no yeah. botanist. Is that what that is called? Yeah, like, botanist, I think. Horticulture, right? Is people I don't know. Do the plant I don't thing? know enough about I, that. I don't know. And so I, I don't I don't want to do a single thing that is gonna potentially cause yeah. issues with pregnancy. So Plus we did I just it. stay away from I it. I remember we did it once. See. Sorry. I thought you were done. You good? I know. Okay. We did it once before and it was like a Christmas tree when it went in and when it came out, it was the log. <laughs> with all these knobs on it because they ate the branches all the way down to like, so now you're carrying this Christmas tree out with all these spikes. And now you got to do, what do you do with, so yeah. And we, we gave them like the four that year. And they like, we're we like, oh, them. we got to go clean it up. It's a right. mess in there. Yeah. No, yeah. They, they love them. They do. It's safer for House of Pie to have them because yeah, there's no safer. pregnant girls over there. Yeah, way safer. So I know in the past we did give them to House of Pie, but yeah, it's just, 
it's one of those things like I don't oh, want to have sorry. to show to what a coulda. A little early. So we just don't do it. Okay. I could have okay. used some nice dry Christmas trees for the bonfire. We're trying to burn over that big brush pyre we tried to burn in one of our YouTube mm-hmm. videos. If you follow, she don't follow. But if you follow. I was there um, that day in person. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we couldn't get it to burn. It was too wet and too compact. We got to open it up, like bring it, like get some air in there. We couldn't so get it to burn. I, do you want to you talk about the monkey in the room? Which monkey's in the it's room? my ring. Oh, so let's sure. Talk I saw about, Let's oh, talk that about thing. my ring. Because yeah. I, I wore it. We went out today. I only wear it on fancy days. Today wasn't a fancy day. We went to Loaves and Home Depot. Pitcher coming soon. Hang on. This is a. This is what we, we went out to lunch with, with our girl. It was yeah, Olivia Day. This is what we call a fancy day. Ready? Here it comes. Mom carries Olivia like a baby still, <laughs> because she can, and Olivia liked it, so that happened. Mm-hmm. And then Olivia got got you know pushing the carriage, but was freezing. Mm-hmm. And then lastly, you I didn't take a picture of her in the carriage. That's sleeping. what I was looking for. I don't know if I have it. Um, what's this picture? Uh oh, here we go. That was oh, not, no, that was Chai on our road trip. That was not today. Yeah, so that's it. I don't have the picture of her sleeping in the carriage. No, she was. Yeah. It was that was our fancy. It day. was like the ninth. And then we saw eight. villagers at the mall and almost took a selfie. They might even be watching. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Um, okay, so a few years back, um we went over friends of ours house to help them process chickens <laughs> yes yes that is what we do around here correctly and um i was wearing my wedding rings and i gave them to this fine gentleman who then lost my wedding band i got the engagement ring back but i didn't get my wedding band back and so i pretty much stopped wearing all my rings after that because then like the same week I was wearing a ring on this finger that I got on our honeymoon and the stone fell out of it. It was like I a sapphire that. or something. Yeah. Fell out. It's in the goat paddock somewhere because I know exactly kind of where it is. When I lost it, just I couldn't find it. So yeah. it's still there. It's only like ten years ago. <clears throat> and so I gave up on rings and I actually wore silicone wedding bands for a while <laughs> and then they broke because yeah. I used them as like a fidget like it kept snapping them and then they, oh. they broke yeah, no, and then what was good. it like a year or two ago oh. we went to the store older it was longer. during covid oh, okay so maybe that a year long. or two ago yep, maybe that long ago and i wanted a ring that i could wear out to because we had started date nights remember yes we attempted that <clears throat> process we don't still go on dates it's fine no like we okay it was a weekly thing though yeah. like it was every day on this we, day on of this... the week we would pick a place and we do something and i want to be a little fancy i didn't want to feel so farmerish but i can't wear my rings out to the barn because it's just not safe and whatever um so we went to the store and everybody's like oh it's so pretty it's so pretty i will tell you i have more expensive earrings than this ring it's beautiful but it's not yeah, it wasn't it's not what bad. you think it is not but what it's just think. very pretty it's just very yeah. pretty so i like okay, and i this found is, her this is my mo though like i like pretty things that don't look like they, like that look like they cost a fortune but they, don't. but they don't that actually was a topic of discussion that just because you spent a lot of money on it doesn't make it better Right. Yeah, we have that conversation with Tyler and Jace about dirt bikes and go karts and this and that and whatever. And Jake about, oh, I need a gaming computer for four thousand dollars. No, you don't. That's not going to make you any better. Like the computer's not going to make you better. Like I get it. It will help. Nike said it the best. Equip. Uh, equ- it was talent will only get you so far. Equipment counts for a lot. So you're right. Equipment does count for a lot because Nike was trying to sell sneakers, but there has to be some talent there. Yeah. I can't put on some Nikes and go dunk or play baseball or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, like, there's this, like, exactly. You get more compliments on that you. than you do on jewelry you own that costs twice as much. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because, like, when we went up to see Grandpa Meme, it's, yep. like, the first thing she noticed. And it's, like, it's it's not that much like it's, yeah. it's beautiful like i i love it and it is very very pretty yeah. um it it goes back 
to our new refrigerator. But literally, my it, wedding van cost more than this. Like it, it was the same thing about our refrigerator setup. For those of you that have been following and all that fancy stuff, we put the new fridges mm -hmm. in the kitchen, and we've gotten so many compliments. Oh, wow, that's a big fridge. That's I was like, beautiful. it costs less than yours in your We're house. Like, that's one of the that. Yeah. yeah, so cheap. It's like two generic refrigerators just flip one to the no, left. No, that's the and... thing, though, is that I don't like cheap things. Yeah, it's I not like, cheap, I but like you know what I mean. I like expensive things that look nice. Right, got rid of all the it's bells and not... whistles. Yeah, well, because I don't need all the LED screens yeah. and whatever. I just need functionality at that point. Yes, $4,000 for a big old fancy gaming computer is ridiculous. There's a reason he does not have one. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. All um, right, question. Question, go back, hang on. Wait a second. Before I go question, let's go. Just go here. Thank you very much. Hey, so little. We also need them to redo one because, I mean, here she is sleeping in the cart in the tile aisle at Lowe's while we're trying to figure out what tile to do in our new kitchen. You guys know we're trying to do our kitchen. Now, this is, this again. This uh, here is we go where, again. This yeah. is where... Had we paid somebody to do the kitchen, it'd be done in a month. And it'd be twice and as much. And it'd be twice as much. We're going to do the kitchen ourselves. Most of it. And don't worry. There's like Gas people are doing the gas. Electrical yeah. people are doing the I mean, electrical. And we move on from there. The stuff that we're not qualified to do, um, we'll let other people do for us. But there's a lot we can do on our own. And this is not the first kitchen that we've ever done. So here we are doing more sweat equity into our home. But then it's going to look amazing at the end of it. Yeah. No boat. New kitchen. Lord, were you in the boat again? It's fine. The boat's going to come. One yep. of these days. Yep. Listen, you can't have everything. I don't I sound want, like I never, a first world brand. Never wanted everything. Oh, but no. my kitchen and no boat. No boat. Okay. What, and I uh, want more subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Um, what was the last question you answered? Um, I don't know. Oh, it was this one about Christmas trees. Yes. Oh, yeah. Christmas trees. We're on to Wow, here. we diverted. Yeah, we did. Um, okay. Sarah asked, do all goat herds have a goat that has the role of peacemaker to break up goat fights? Or is it just part of Lucy's personality? You and the pretzels again? Uh, I haven't eaten some. dinner, remember? Tyler just texted me, though, said he took it out. So Not for you. I, I think this was really, I don't know, because I don't know a lot of other goat herds, but I now have three of my own goat herds on the property. And Lucy's literally the only one who interjects herself in, would you, oh my God, we're all trying to learn something and you're trying to feed them. I'm trying to snack. feed the village. We're all in this together. Obesity? Like what? Oh. <laughs> What are you trying to say? No, oh, it's just sharing. It's caring. Sharing is not always caring. There's lots of examples that I could get into, but that wouldn't be okay, family so friendly either. Continue your peacemaker. STDs. Oh, okay, yeah, come on. Come on. Oh. That's not sharing. That's not caring. I'm done. <laughs> Gotta go. This is no longer a safe, safe situation for us. All right. Right. So. Farts. See what I said? Farts. Sarah <laughs> did, said it, not me. Did you answer Sarah's question? No. All right, get back to that because we're pushing red on our microphone. We're too loud. I'm sorry. I had to turn down. All right, so. All right. <laughs> on a more serious note. Oh. All right, I'm going to try to say this. Okay. Without crying, but we'll be fine. We needed this. The laughing, the giggling, like like yeah. 20 minutes before going live with you guys, there was crying happening on this couch. Mm -hmm. So my point is, you even said it. I, we need a Q&A. You said it a couple days ago. So like, I was I We was need to really... do a Q&A because this <coughs> is the like, I don't know. It's like sitting down in front of your family and telling stories and giggling and laughing and whatever. And it's like not being judged. Like, yeah, there's people out there that don't like us, but whatever. Those are the ones that unsubscribe, you know, like those are not our people, whatever. But you literally said it like, 
like a couple when days ago. When we were ago. scheduling the Q&A. Because I literally yeah. said, I was like, I think it's time for a Q&A. And he's like, okay. And I'm like, yeah, because I I like. I need it. I, I'm missing the connection. I was missing right. the connection. Like Because we went through the holiday. The last mm-hmm. Q&A was baking cookies in the kitchen. That wasn't a real Q&A. Not really. That was just like a holiday thing. That was just a holiday <laughs> thing. So then before that, yeah. So it's been like two months almost. In a while so it was like there's this and, and another you youtuber if you want to put it out there that way said it once um that there's this like i don't know there's this connection you can get with your audience that's like almost an endorphin type like you know and that person i don't know what i'm trying to say but so for you me get, it was like sense of community i felt like i was losing or and not losing but just that the space was growing and I was right. like, no, 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 we need to come back. We yeah. need to come back. And this is like our place to come and connect. Right. And that's, I was missing that connection and it was overdue for, for a Q and A. Yeah. So it's, it was just interesting that we were sitting here laughing, almost peeing ourselves, but yet 20 minutes before that, I, I didn't, I held back my tears, but she was, a, uh, she was, crying you were sad about what may or may not happen going into this kidding season that mm-hmm. was the topic and it was like all right let's do do this q a and we can talk about it late but we talked about it here i mean of course this season's not going to be easy of course late february 28th is not going to be easy like we know that and the closer well, we get gets closer the tightness in my chest gets worse exactly and so <laughs> does all the other 480 something people here they know well and that's like where you, you do stupid. the whole the good the bad the ugly like right. it's it's all it we're here yeah that's it like that's yeah yep yeah, exactly so it's like all right that's what i was saying like the fact that i've laughed so hard in the last that i'm like oh my god do you you're, you're sharing is caring. Not STDs. That's not. That's not caring. <laughs> All right. So you already answered Sarah's question. No. Did I? Oh, okay. I know. Okay. I don't. Think... Oh, yeah. No. I. I don't. Per- okay. With my experience, I have not seen other herds other than the ones Lucy's in, where Lucy will interject and like be the peacemaker. Others, I think, are like with Danica. She just like headbutts the goat like there's no interjecting yeah that that herd is like the original cassie's castle herd and what that herd grew into under lucy's reign i I don't think we'll ever have a herd like that again lucy made it yeah what she made it and no matter what herd she's in she will have that yeah but that's i think it's a lucy thing you know because greta and rainy aren't doing it but there's not a lot of drama going on in there because they're big and pregnant. Right. So we'll see that herd is still kind of establishing itself. Next question. Angela asks, since this is Dee's last kidding season, do you plan on keeping any of her babies? No, I think we talked about that. No more togs. We didn't need to continue the tog line. <clears throat> I thought we had Who, enough. What are you yeah, talking about? This was not okay. Maybe not. About. That's not exactly what we said. At one point, we had said right. maybe we shouldn't continue with togs, and then every kidding season after that, the tog babies are the first ones to sell. So every year, we're like, mm, we probably should keep doing the togs. The togs, that's is, true. You know, it, I would like to have more room for alpines, that, yeah. um, but that's kind of our herd is going to be. Kind of shifting in numbers so we're very heavy la mancha right now you know but i just retired a bunch and gia isn't gonna ever be a mom so like there's this balance so but tags are always gonna be whether i keep any this year out of d d would be the only d would be the only mom i could keep a toggenberg from just because grace is the only other one pregnant and when Evelyn has babies, those babies will be too related to Moose. That, that's what I meant. I so thought there was something like... it would like... have to be a D baby this year. Yeah. If. <clears throat> if we wanted to. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Sarah again 
So Sarah H asks, or that's Susan. You, oh, you my fault. Yeah. Susan H asks, since Winnie is now in the clear regarding the worms and tests and whatnot, are there any follow-ups with the vet as precautions? So I think I'm going to put Winnie on a routine fecal check just because of her history and stay on top of her. That may or may not go from like now through the next year. Let's see what she does through fall of next year and see if this is even really necessary or are we just being overly precautious with her? Um, so that's kind of, but long term, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I've really allowed myself to think that far ahead because I've been in like the one day at a time. I mean, yeah. really, one day at a time. I've had to really kind of slow my mind down from being able to say this is where we are and like specifically when we lost Giovanni Dr. Lindsay said one thing and it sent us well not all of us just me into a tailspin into a, a nosedive really and that was the test result that we were waiting for to see if Winston was safe to come in with Winnie it had nothing to do with whether Winston was sick it had everything to do with Giovanni because she threw one thing out there that could have been a cause of death and it wasn't the cancer that we all thought it was and we were waiting for a test result that she took the day G died um obviously that came back negative and she was just being overly cautious as well but it sent my anxiety you ever have the anxiety where it starts with a single thought and all of a sudden it turns into a massive thing. And while you're snowballing, you have to just be like, stop. We don't even know if this happened yet. Why are we all the way over here? And that's where I, I was for the time that it took that test result to come back. I had to keep stopping myself and being like, no, no, we don't get to freak out over this over this when we don't even have the answer to this yet so let's wait for this and then go from there one step at a time and i easily snowball into the well what if but what if what well, we don't know so why why worry about something we can't control or why worry about something we don't even know if we should be worrying about yet exactly wait for the answer yeah and then plan on how to handle right. that. So news. the best news right. was that the test results came back negative. Right. I, she and... literally, I was on the computer and out of nowhere, she goes, Woo! And I go, What? And she right. goes, Winston can move in with Winnie. The test came negative. I go, Oh, great. When are we doing that? She goes, Right now. Right now. I go, Are you serious? She goes, Yeah. So I we did. I literally was waiting guys, for a week and a half. You guys saw that happen. He came in and I'm like, Oh, Kevin was like, What are we doing? And I was like, We're moving a goat. And then we yeah. all started moving goats. Yeah. 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 So, but that was, you know, and that it was good news for Giovanni too, that he didn't have this. Right. Well, that's um, good news for the whole herd. It was a great, it was great news yeah. for everybody. Um, yeah. So, but it was really just, it, and even Dr. Lindsay was like, really, we're just dotting I's and crossing T's to make sure, because if we introduce Winston, Winston won't give it to anybody yet. But as he gets older, he will. If Giovanni if had Giovanni it. Giovanni had it. Because they shared a fence line. Because they shared that's a fence it. line. But he didn't have it. In the end, he didn't and have so it, they so didn't, it doesn't matter. So it doesn't even matter. Right. But that's what took so long. Yeah. All right, there you go. So Diva asks, over the last couple of days, Winnie and Winston don't seem to be sleeping together in the blue pool. Any thoughts on why they stopped? couple things. It's warmer. Yeah, it is So very they don't need to cuddle. Um, it could just be, this is them establishing their little mini herd, their relationship. And right now they're not there yet. They were, they felt comfort there, but yeah. you know, as Winston settles in too, you know, he might just be found cuddling against the fence line with another goat in Cassie's castle. We don't know. Right. So, um, you'll see different goats in the barn kind of change where they sleep depending on the weather depending on their mood so what are you looking up now oh i'm just 
preparing for uh, one of our next conversations coming soon. Okay. To a theater near you. Coming mm -hmm. soon to a theater. Okay. Oh boy. Um. So I mean, we need another question. Oh, question. Another question. Here we come. I think that's the last pre-entered question. All right. So Lynn is the the last question. Pre-typed in. Submitted. Right. Yes. Correct. I didn't see it. Oh, you. I forgot you don't have your own screen. Right. Now that the fabulous light show is over, and oh gosh. thank you again for that. Can you pull Liz's car? Which I'm. It's that's funny that it's Liz's car. I, that it's is just like very an inside funny. joke now because Jace goes and says, "So it's Liz's truck, and now it's Liz's car. What do you drive?" I go, "Oh wait, I'll get that boat someday." <laughs> um, um, can you drive Liz's car into the barn and do a Tesla light show? <laughs> and I said, "That, that could, could happen. actually happen." Yeah. Right. But probably not. Probably not. Yeah. Probably, no. That would be excessive, and I already feel like it's excessive, so yeah. probably not. Yeah, I didn't even know the car did that. you got to understand, this is the thing that what a lot of people don't understand, it, and I'm learning it just as we go, right? Because that style car, the Teslas, are built on, like, a <clears throat> Google platform, pretty much, a big tablet, and a lot of cars are going this way. Not just the Teslas. Some of the other ones are putting that big tablet in there and a lot oh, of a lot of, lot of touch screen stuff. And I know some my people are truck, like, if it was like my truck, if you get a year. 2022, 2023, is just a giant, giant screen. <clears throat> These aren't even laptop screens anymore. These are just like full on screens. Right. But what a lot of these cars are getting to the point of is the community, the village that own the Teslas come up with ideas like hey it would be nice that when i put on the blinker you already have cameras on the side of the car why not pop that camera up on the screen so i can see my blind spot it's just a safety thing that did not come that way that was not the way the car was built enough people in the community said yeah that'd be a great idea tesla fixed it overnight they were like yeah that is a good idea done download the new software just like your phone gives you new software like every 30 days it's fixing little bugs or adding new little features and that's the same thing the tesla does like every couple days they're like new features added uh one of them was like oh tesla has a recall what's the recall the window will pinch your finger if you put your finger in and it goes up it doesn't know your fingers there and it might pinch it too hard tesla fixed it overnight they're like yeah. fine Go in, rewrite the code, make the window go up a little slower or recognize the pressure a little sooner. Mm -hmm. Like all these little things can, I mean, the community, like, for example, I hit my head on the trunk, the trunk open. And I'm like, why do I keep hitting my head on this? Like, it doesn't go high enough. This is she stupid. Thought it was broken. I'm like, this is dumb that they designed it not to go that high. I'm going to hit my head on it. So we look it up. You can decide how high you want it to go. And I'm like. Oh, that's pretty cool. But why would somebody want to change that height? Is it because taller people? No, it's if you're parking your car in the garage and your garage door is open, so it's up here, and your tailgate opens, it'll hit your garage door. So you get to set the height you want it to mm -hmm. open to so it never hits. There are so many little things mm -hmm. that it's like, oh, wow, never thought of that. Yeah, That's like excessive a light show yeah but tesla didn't make up the light show a user did right somebody in the tesla community was like hey i made a program that'll run on the car and blink the lights to music and tesla like bought it from them and shared it with everybody yeah yeah so it's just neat stuff uh you i don't know what that set up there oh carol was asking i don't know what year your tesla is but is your ignition a card or a key it's, it's actually, actually my phone. Our phones. Right. So you get a card. It's yeah. like a credit card. Um, and it has the NFT in it, right? Is that NFC. NFC. Same thing you, you use can... to pay, like, at the if you go to the grocery store and you could pay by holding your phone to something, that yeah. technology. And so you just take the – well, actually, I – you don't have to do. I don't have to do anything. I but my my phone can be in my purse, in my pocket, whatever, and my and the car recognizes my phone and, and your mine. phone, and it just automatically unlocks the door and allows no you to touching start it. it at all. But uh, yeah, it's you know, there's so many cool things about the car, and I get it. It's not for everybody. the The whole EV um, industry is not for everyone. Um, but 
it's, you know, we're kind of, um, we're kind of like, we've got our gas guzzling truck, truck at 12 right? miles to the gallon. And then it's like, well, we'll offset it by getting an yes. electric car but it still fits our needs and it's doing exactly what it needs to be doing for us. So, yeah. um, it's, it's a really fun car, but I can see how overwhelming it would be oh, yeah. for somebody who's just not like comfortable with technology because there's a lot going on in that car. Oh yeah. There's a lot, even a some lot. stuff that I am like, Whoa, wait a second. Where, how do I, what do I do? Where do I get yeah. this? And then once you figure it out, I'm like, Oh, I didn't realize. Well, but even just right. Re re like, it's the becoming, windshield wipers. Becoming think... comfortable. Well, there's no little buttons in the car. Well, there's, yeah, there's, there's like... two buttons on the steering wheel, and then you've got your drive, your drive shifting, and your blinkers, and one little button for windshield wipers. But the button just makes it like you can wash your window windshield, or you can do like that. Oh, there's a little bit of of water, and just do like one swipe. But other than that, everything else is built into the, the computer screen. So there's a lot going on until you're comfortable with where to find those buttons while you're driving. It's, um, yeah, it's overwhelming. Getting everything programmed the way it needs to be programmed for you. There's, there is a manual, but like nobody reads it. So. Right. Yeah. Um, so we have some questions coming in here. Um, you want to get to those, or do you want to you start can try that. with what you... Okay, well, you'll have to that kinda scroll goes, up on... Oh, you want me to scroll up I think so. Oh, so, so I got to go to one your of the chat. questions... If, okay, so if you guys are all new, some of our OGs are already doing it, throw in that big red question mark at the beginning of your question so that it highlights... It's a... It helps us see it. It helps us be able to see it in chat on as, that screen as there. things are going by real fast. Yeah. Um, so... I'm going to start, I might have missed somebody else's, but I'm going to start with Northern Lights. And they ask, um, Liz, what is the soap you are most proud of making? Um, it's, uh, I was, I was really proud that we finally conquered that polka dot soap, Beauty Queen. Oh, yeah. That was a really, that was a soap that was, that was a year in the making and several tries. Um, and failed attempts I we had of one making here, it. No, we don't. So that's that's one I'm very proud of. Um, there's a lot of soaps that are that are coming out. The Rose Macarons I was really proud of. The Winnie Cupcake is probably the only soap I actually agree with that it's too pretty to use. Um, I well, you know. could use it if you, you want. You can use it. It's soap. It works. It's, it's just... You mean that one right there? I actually think it it's probably too, and the one below. I know I'm yeah, going to the better one. It's probably legit too pretty to use. Um, but that soap wasn't really made to be used. That soap was made to celebrate Winnie, and um, and her journey. Oh my gosh! Ready? Year. I'm gonna go back to the picture <clears throat> of me standing in front of these cupcakes. Okay. Look at the. I don't think you guys can see my mouse on the screen, so you're gonna have to look at the top left behind my shoulder, and right there in the background on the rack behind the cupcakes, second row down, all the way in the back behind the cupcakes, is a beauty queen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, watch. Wait, when it comes up there, you'll see it. I saw it. I was like, I didn't know that it's. Oh, wait. it is a beauty queen. See it way back there? <laughs> yeah. So one of the ones where the dots were off-centered a yeah, little bit. Yeah, well, because... That's why Okay, so how, so how Beauty Queen got its name is sometimes when we're... When Angie and I are cutting soap and we get one of the ones that's like, oh, well, it's just not as pretty as the rest of them. And we say, um, well, they can't all be a beauty queen. So... We named Beauty Queen Beauty Queen because every single one of them was perfect, except for that one. <laughs> like yeah. there was, there was one section of the several logs that we made of it, where um, as we were pouring, the dots, the the dot shifted <laughs> out of its jig and then went and and she wasn't a Beauty Queen. So there were very few not Beauty Queens in that one, but Beauty Queen was definitely. We actually were going to make another version of Beauty Queen and launch it at the same time. It was going to be the inverse. So it was going to be a pink bar soap with gray dots. We made the gray dots. 
we failed at the gray dots and we were like you know what let's not see if lightning can strike twice this is, we're just done and so it was just gray with pink dots so. so to answer the question, it's a 2021 um, back there. We never said the year. It's a 2021, a couple of years old. And this is a great idea where I, wait a second. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I can't read that there because it's like pouty face, oh, red heart. Oh, yeah, because it spelled yeah. out the emoji. Right. So my point is, yes, getting solar on site. So we are basically using solar to charge the car. It's a, a lot of future, do that. it's a future idea yeah. in the making. Um, and then I saw some other question pop up. What is your problem? Um, Grinch was actually, so the Grinch, so there's, there's bars that, that come along where it's like, that was a first. The first time I ever piped soap was in the rose macarons. So that oh. was the icing in the middle, but also the icing that goes over the top. Then we did Yoshi soap. The macarons which by the way we have tons of yoshi ones left yeah, if you're looking you guys for like them yoshi? nobody really bought them so it's yoshi not, it's got not nobody like... it's i anticipated that y'all were going to like them as much as the rose ones and then that didn't happen that didn't happen so we got a lot of yoshi just so saying. yoshi's still there. around um but the grinch soap was the first time i did something big with right. piping and that was that was a lot it was a lot yeah. And I knew somebody was going to say, well, did you make something for Winston, too? Um, and I, did, is not I did not. <laughs> okay, so. It, not yet. That's the answer. No. I know and not yet. how all of this looks. <laughs> yeah, not yet. So it's just like Winston was hanging out there. He's one of the boys. It was a definitely the winnie and winston thing it was just kind of where my heart was and in, yep. in that moment That's... and you have to remember too while i'm making these winnie cupcakes is during a time when we're winnie still was... fighting for winnie to make a full recovery so it's kind of that's just where my heart was and why this this celebratory day means so much is because of what Winnie went through. It's not that like I love Winston less or whatever. It's it's just like Winnie is is Winnie. Even if if she didn't get sick, it's still like Winnie and Winston are always going to be special. There's a different but kind of Winnie special. Winnie has that yeah that of course peace. Um, this is funny. We go from Winnie to the, does your Tesla drive without you driving it? Not really. So it'll turn the wheel. It does autopilot. It does cruise control. It does autopilot, but not the super fancy autopilot where not it'll unassisted, actually right? follow your GPS and stop at a stop sign and turn a corner. It won't do any of that. But you can take, so I did this on the ride home, uh, one of the times where you put the cruise control on and you put the autopilot on. And your hands have to stay on the wheel, yeah, but your hands you. aren't doing anything. You're just kind of there in case the car messes up, which it didn't. But you're just there. Because it's not fully automatic, like autopilot, right. like you said, it won't stop at stop signs. It'll yeah. gauge your speed. So, like, even cruise control, if you're set to cruise control, like I was following you home today, I set my cruise control. But then, like, you had to slow down. Um, so, my cruise is set to the max I want it to go. But it will follow and keep a certain number of car lengths in between me and the car in front of me. And I set that. If I if I like to follow close, which I don't, um, I can set it closer. So I set it for like six car lengths or at least what the Tesla thinks mm -hmm. is six car lengths. Yeah. And, um, and it, it'll just follow the car. So if you slow down, I slow down. If right. you speed up, I can speed up to whatever I've set my max cruise to. Right. Yeah. And then, yes, that means just like in our truck has it, too, we each have two profiles. So when you get in, I push button two on the truck and it moves my seat. To where so I'm for you, and I don't know if you know this, but like when you get in and it's and it, the car recognizes it's, it was your phone that opened yeah, the, it. Knows it's all me. you have to do is step on the brake and it sets the car to all of your settings. Right. Yep. So um, I only just learned that. What is your uh, uh, what is your favorite coffee? creamer for your coffee um it's 
I actually there's creamer. A, there's a cannoli. I don't know. Cannoli flavor cannoli. creamer. I really like that one. Oh, you did. I'm using a sweet creamer now. I guess it's like a creamer with added sugar to it. It's the, and I keep yeah, it's like an Italian getting cream that, creamer. and I still add sugar, and then it's too sweet. And yeah, yeah. French vanilla is a good one. I don't really have a favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, when is the other feeder being replaced? So, the other feeder is not actually being replaced. It's being bread approved, and that should be happening on Tuesday. The plan Tuesday is to muck out for the last time this season just the main gen pop. gen pop area winnie and winston are fine right now um just gen pop mug it and house of pie actually um hopefully house of pie and gen pop muck it all out and fix the feeder um extend it a little higher it's it, it, yeah it's going to get taller and then the metal is going to be added to it and that's the plan Hopefully, Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, How's the coloring coming along? Coloring. Um, did you just ask that, or did somebody ask that? Because somebody. Asked. Okay. Well, uh, so I just did another one last night. The owl that was in today's video. That person. Watched. Um. Yeah. So I finished the owl. <laughs> I'm just saying that person must not have watched the video. Okay. Uh, she didn't comment. Yeah. The, the owl is completely finished, and I move on to another one next. So I think I'm halfway done now. Out of the ten, five of them are complete. And then I'll start framing them all soon, and they'll all start shipping out. But my goal is to get them all done by the end of January and shipped out and everything. All. This is everything okay? Uh-oh. This has never happened before. Yes. I'm confused. Okay, I will move on. Um, Aaron, do you... Aaron, do you feel better now that you are able to do a few chores? Of course I do. I mean, technically, I'm not supposed to be lifting hay or lifting waters or doing a lot of weight, but I can walk. I can just walk around. That's it. No squats. I'm not jumping, not running, you know, none of that stuff. It was literally just no walk around, just walk around, couple chores, throw maybe two, three flakes of hay at a time, and that's about it. That's kind of the plan. She's reading a novel over there. I don't know what happened. It's uh, technology. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> it's fascinating. What just happened? If you can high level tell yeah. me. Yeah. So, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm going to clean. The, the social media world mixed with gaming. Got it. So somebody, somebody's parent who Jake has been playing Xbox with okay just messaged us and was like hey just so you know like this is who your kid is talking to like this Got is my it. son this is who we are we live in england we have sixty six thousand people like this is who and she's like i see it's, okay and like because jake talked about us and yeah. our social media presence and she was right. able to track us down and be like yeah, we're not that hard to find no yeah. so it's like i never had that happen before where it's like and contacted you through the business, would... probably. Or maybe through person. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's in her grandson. Yeah. Is friends with your son on Xbox. That's cool. Xbox, I was you know... first worried about who he was speaking to. And, of course, I'm sure you were, too. Yeah. So I thought I would say hi and put your mind to rest that it's my grandson. He's 15, whatever. Cool. And That's actually pretty cool. But, it, like, the, the whole, like, that world can be can be weird can be very weird and it's come up before for all of you that ask and want to know or whatever jake's actually doing amazing we got a report the oh other day God, so with good. words that made liz cry like he's not like happy tears happy tears I'm not so a I, was cry going, baby. I was going there okay. he's a kind you told him i cried sweet, before we came to that that was different personable. you know he's a kind sweet personable but mature slightly like, awkward slightly awkward like, yeah, but we're that's... like or like those are the words we want to hear. Like you get an A in math or a B in math, I don't really don't care. But kind, sweet, mature, polite, like that's like game on. You just won the trophy. Yeah. Um but uh but we all know the Xbox world has its village, just like we have a village. And it is a little dark in that one sometimes. It's and scary. It's scary over there. Um 
and it could get angry. You guys have heard the door slam when we're sitting here live. And it, that's usually it's Xbox usually related. Usually something happened, went down, teenagers, all virtual, hiding behind keyboards, saying stuff they shouldn't, and it goes all wrong. And we've had counselors tell us the Xbox is not the problem. It's the people that he's living with in that community that are the problem. Yeah. So it's, yeah, and that's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, we've never seen that before. No, where it branched out of his little world and came to ours to put our mind at ease that like, hey, the kitty's playing one's pretty cool. Yeah. Like and like whoa. that will prompt a conversation. Yeah, like, she'll hey, talk. like who is this kid? And like you're playing like Yeah. Stick around. Wait here. a second, are they from New Zealand? <laughs> There's a reason I ask. Oh, this oh is gonna be fun. God. So earlier today we were at Loaves at a Home Depot and she came up with some story about the Prime Minister of New Zealand. Uh, I was watching prime, a documentary. Is that what it's called? Prime Minister? Yes. Even though it's a female. Yes. Okay. Uh, prime Ministress? I don't know. Minister? I don't know. Whatever. No. Okay. So, yes. I was watching a documentary on Netflix, and it was actually Harry and Meghan's documentary. Not that documentary, but the other one that they actually did. They were the producers and executive producers, too. And it was all about, like, inspirational mm -hmm. figures. It, the first episode Love. was, like, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Ginsburg, and it was all about like her how she did what she did and and her what real quick go question is coco pregnant yes yes coco is pregnant so it was all about like influential people it was about uh greta um i don't know her last name but she is um a huge climate advocate like huge and so so then they were talking about this prime minister in new zealand and how she all of these women prime ministers like there's more of them and but she's young and they were interviewing her and and she just seemed so personable and like such a breath of fresh air and she actually had a baby while she was in in do you know doing her prime minister thing and then that raised concerns from some of the men who are like, how are you going to run a country when you're pregnant? And it's like, she oh, my God, as if women have never had babies while working. Um, can't do two things at once. Okay, so this it set me down a, a, a rabbit hole of like, oh my god, girl power rabbit hole. Yeah. So then I was like, you know, I really liked this prime minister from what I was seeing on her. No, I don't really know much about about her other than what I saw. I don't know anything about her other than what I saw in this documentary. But I was like, she live streams like every day during COVID. And it was like, man, her hair was frazzled. She had no makeup on. She was off getting her coffee. She was in yoga pants. She was off. And she was like doing the whole reading books to her kids because, like, that's what you do. Oh, sorry, Angie. I ruined Angie's thunder. She's right there. She said oh. Penelope is confirmed pregnant while you're talking oh. about the Prime Minister. New and Zealand. then, uh, and she was just such a real person. I was like, she talks. And I saw her, like, actually in news conferences. And she talks just like that there, too. Yeah. And I'm like, what? You're not stuffy. You don't like tiptoe around certain subjects. You're nope. just a real person. And I go to so him. Then guess what? I go to him. I was like, maybe we should move to New Zealand. I know nothing about this country. That's her property in New Zealand. She found one. She went and Googled it. It had cows already. <sighs> it is it's all over. We're coming to the other <laughs> side of the world. I'm just kidding. It's and not how happening. do you move 31 goats? Oh my god, on boats. Four dogs. <laughs> on a boat. Oh, here we go. We're just gonna go yeah. sailing around the world and move our whole lives to New Zealand. Yeah. I know nothing. He goes to me. It's not happening. What's the weather like in New Zealand? So then, so says, then I Googled it. It's oh LA. It's basically California. It's like nice all the time. All the time. It doesn't snow. It doesn't get hot. It, yeah. It's, well, I, Angie's coming. Yeah. <laughs> She's coming. Well, anywhere I go, Angie's going. And it was versa, a so. pretty hilarious afternoon conversation, with which continued with, as you saw, some Google searching of New Zealand properties. Yeah. I didn't even get to see the house. No, that property we don't even know the they price. Led with cows. I was yeah. like, "You're speaking my language." Yeah, it was pretty hilarious. I don't even know how we got to this topic. About... And what I actually found out is that. Yes. Okay, these people are going to think I'm crazy now. We all I was crazy. also watching a documentary on Netflix, because this is what I do in my free time. I watch documentaries, and I saw the volcano eruption at White, White Island or something like that. Yeah. 
there were tourists on the island when the volcano erupted. Oh. It was a huge thing. Oh. A huge thing. People died. It was awful. That's, that's not good. No. Uh, here we go. But the it apparently it's beautiful there. In New Zealand, it looked it. Yeah. it looked like a bunch. Of, it looked like Ireland, a bunch of green grass. But tropical. Yes. Somewhat. I, I mean. I did pop a question up on the screen though. Oh. What are your thoughts on how the babies? These, how many babies? Oh, how many? Mm. What are your thoughts on how many baby babies Dee is carrying? She's so big. She's always big. She is, but last year she was really big and she had a lot of babies. Yeah. She was also, this year she was ultrasounded pretty late so they couldn't see how many. So I'm just really hoping it's not triplets again. Yeah, no, that'd be bad. We don't want that. I already I mean, answered this. She did fantastic with her triplets. Yep. But that's just a lot back to back. Simon uh, says Ark to New Zealand. I don't no, trust his I'm not, I'm not sailing an Ark. We'd sink in the in No, Long I meant like South. a freight liner. We'd get on one of those freight boats. and. Oh, well, we oh, already have a shipping, shipping container. container. <laughs> I was just going to say. <laughs> squeeze us all into the container. The hay is already in it. Just get in and take a boat ride. That's called human trafficking. We cannot do, do that. that. <laughs> Even I if they're your you own now. children. I can hear you now, though. This will make for some great content. Yeah. Oh, it would make a lot of good content. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dee's fine. Dee's big yep. and pregnant. She's, oh. uh, she always is, is pretty sluggish, if you want to call it that. You got to come back to this Has question. Has Stella and Winnie had any more play dates? No, because the same no. day that, that Winnie and Stella were playing was actually the same day Winnie got Winston back. So we've yes. been working on that relationship. Yep. Um, yeah. 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 Um, no, at, and to, you know, D, oh, back know to D, at. you know, she's not a morning goat, but you do, you, you have to watch a goat kind of like all day to get an idea of what's really going on. And you see patterns and D's not a morning goat, but she eats all day and all night long. So okay. you're going to have kind of natural rhythm of a goat. And for sure, she's also the furthest along. So those babies That's are the true. biggest. Yep. Here's your quick question of, do you have a name theme for this kidding season? Nope. Nope. We don't really ever. No, we don't. There's a couple go girls that, like, if so-and-so has... Oh, this is a good question. I like this one. Like, if so-and-so has a baby, like Rainy, for example, her babies will always have a weather theme because her name is Rainy. So she's right. got thunder and and uh, breeze and sky. Right. And, Those are all and weather and themes. airy and Frio. They're all weather related names so she will co will continue down that theme for her yeah um no know, idea about anybody else 80 will probably always have reindeer babies yep just because and i already have a moo baby named picked up i can't tell anybody yeah so next question when are you taking them back to soap class oh man that was fun for me too soap class i mean what are we gonna do cut soap why because it's fun. I don't know. She doesn't know the answer. The, the soap that I'm cutting on Monday is pure white. It's not fun. Super boring. It's not fun. It's. <clears throat> I mean, it's the picture. The the picture that I put on Facebook last week of that soap. It was that cam the chamomile. Yeah, lavender. Lavender chamomile, artisan bar, and it was just yeah. a restock. I've made it before. You guys have seen it before. Yeah. But it was just a restock because that's what I'm doing right now. Is I restock Ooh La La. I restocked Lavender Cam, and now Galaxy is up next, and then Cucumber Melon. And then we have new stuff coming, like new, new. Mm -hmm. That's it. Angie doesn't even know yet, and she's in chat. She's like, I've quit. What? Fine, I won't say anything. No, go ahead. You could talk. Don't get too excited because it's like spring. But Yeah, our spring launch is going to be so okay. We've got February we go. 1st launch. Hang launched. on, let me now go. Now we're getting into let me, it. Let me go. Don't go asked. anywhere. What time is it? Y'all asked. They're Hang dropping on. like flies. We're down to 4.55. Oh, they're totally dropping like flies. That's because I said shit too many times. I don't know. Um, Why did we not answer your question? I didn't what was see it. it. Oh, I missed it. I I'm still not there. I haven't scrolled through all the questions. We got stuck. I'm behind. Like, I'm sorry, what? 
Yeah. Um, what? Who says? Um, seven. What time did we start? Six o'clock. Oh my gosh, we're almost two hours in. Mm-hmm. We're getting late. Not, not a Some shot. of these people can't stay That's up that late. That's why we did the barn early. All right, so I'm only at questions that came in at six forty-four, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm way behind. So if I didn't get to your question, probably because I'm way behind. Still. Kim says we already answered it. So okay. So we already answered it, maybe. <clears throat> is D okay? She seems pretty sluggish. D so, is great. We already answered that. Okay, good. I'm just going through. Okay, so it's... Okay, it I have a question, though. Wait a second. Before you get into all this, I need to know. You guys are confusing the crap out of me. Love your new ad. Hope it's doing well. Um, I'm not running any ads. <laughs> and I can't figure out what you guys are talking about. The challenge becomes is I'm, I, I just don't know what you're talking about. This is where you just go, thanks. Thanks. Unless Our I get a guy might be doing credit something. card bill from somewhere that says, $1,000 on an ad that I don't know that I'm running. No, our Google guy won't do so. it. I already talked to him. Yeah. I don't think so. If it's a video ad and it's running on pre-roll YouTube, that's what I need to know. Yeah. Haven't seen the new ad. It's not. Haven't seen not seen it some right. people are seeing it some people have it screenshot um, it like email it to simon says farms yeah. so if you see it like take a screenshot and send it to us and that might help me figure out what the heck you're talking about because i'm afraid of the bill Stop. that's There's it no... i've already checked their ad account we're not running Can an you ad show up on youtube short okay so then that, that might... what you're seeing then was probably an ad i created i put it on youtube shorts I paid YouTube to push it out to people during the holiday, if it was a holiday ad. And then I turned the pay feature off, but it's still there. Right. And you guys might find it by accident. Organically. And you think it's an ad, but it's actually not an ad. It's just a video. I'm like freaking out. Like, oh my God, did I leave an ad running? Are we going to get whacked with like hundred? We spend a lot of money on ads. And I'm like, I can't find this ad they're talking about. So hopefully it's just a video that looks like an ad and I'm not actually paying to put it out there. Yeah. So I don't want to pay for a Christmas ad when it's not Christmas. I see ads all the time, though, because our Google guy does his job. That's a photo, though, it in is. Google. That's not a video. If it's running on YouTube Shorts, then it was a video I created that looked like an ad. And then it, I turned the ad portion off. Yeah. And then from there. Okay. Just letting you know, I see your ad on my local channels. That's a that's a photo. The vo- local channels, yeah, you'll see those. Those run through Google and all that stuff. But if it's a video, yeah. Yeah, we're pushing a lot into the shorts world. We're getting there. Okay, go back to your February launch. Uh, that's yeah, where we're at. so the next exciting thing kind of for us is the February 1st launch, and that's going to be our Valentine's Day collection. Um, also, one in a Winnie, which kind of falls into Valentine's. Not that into valentine's day that's just winter stuff so that's kind of the you know we're in the middle of winter which might not feel like it because it's 60 degrees outside but it's dry the humidity is way down it's cold the lips are being chapped why are we scroll just scrolling through randomness now that's winnie right? i know okay okay yeah. so um so yeah february 1st launch there's a bunch of stuff coming out there's I don't know mostly Valentine's Day themed stuff. So I've got everything's on the website if you want to take a look. This one of the the heart soap is Be Mine. We named them kind of after conversation hearts. So this one's Be Mine. And then we have XOXO, uh, which I don't have a picture, you don't have a picture up of up here. Yeah. And each of the new soaps has a matching lotion. And then we'll have some other kind of valentine's day themed lotions coming back roman kisses is coming back love spells coming back charlotte's garden actually got a um a facelift because we had some suggestions that maybe if charlotte's name is in the title of the lotion that her face should be on the label charlotte's face is on the new charlotte's garden and it launches for that person that emailed me asking about charlotte's garden and i haven't gotten back to you yet yeah. It is coming. I thought you did. No. Because you asked and I said yes. And you Yeah, I never told yes. her because I was going to just put the last three bottles we have in inventory right now back into inventory so no. somebody can buy them. 
but you were like, no. We're no, so what happens is, is when we get down to like three of something and I know it's changing and I need to launch the new stuff on the website, I take those three and I put them in the store because it's the same lotion. It just has an outdated label on it. Right. The website gets and all the, the new website fancy has to stuff. get all the new, like if right. it, if it looks like this, it has to be that when they receive it. Right. They can't receive something that looks different, <laughs> even though the name, like, like, um, um, let's go back to uh, Moroccan mint. No, not Moroccan mint. It is. It Moroccan was. mint is now stress relief. Right. Moroccan mint and stress relief. Same, same exact same thing. Same different thing. label. But you can't buy Moroccan mint and receive stress relief and it think that it confused everybody. the crap out of everybody. Right. So if it says stress relief on the label, it has to be only stress relief so all the old older moroccan mints are in the store in the store yeah so somebody was saying oh. that there needs to be more no. um house of pie inspired fragrances so we have uh well we have drunken apple pie pie lotion and then coconut cream pie for pie that in lotion soap that just popped up on the screen that's Lavender was chamomile. lavender chamomile. Yeah. yeah. And then we have Roman Kisses. <clears throat> That's coming back. Roman oh. Kisses coming back yep, February 1st. February 1st. The coconut cream pie pie one, which is a, we have obviously it. a pot. I don't know if we have any left. If you go on the website and it says out of stock, that means we have none left and we'll have to possibly make more. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Um, it's, that could be good for like summer. If it comes back, it'll come back for summer. Yeah, that's true. I know there's so many options. Yeah. so many options um so yeah big launch february 1st it's exciting i've got a ton of products i'm hoping not to sell out of those winnie cupcakes in the first 20 minutes because it's we the should most not. i ever made of a single soap ever ever any soap any soap so this picture you see here that is nothing compared to how many she's made and they took a long time a very it took her over a month to make all those yeah it, one month it's the only soap she worked on for a whole month yeah that's how long it took so it took really when we time. sit in the kitchen and have our business meetings over coffee i'm like even if we sell all the winnie cupcakes if i calculated how much you should get paid per hour to do what you do it's not worth it that's yeah but sense. yeah but the audience loves these super fancy ones and i'm like i know and it may make you happy because they're fun to make i'm like but from a business standpoint, I'd rather make simple suds all day long. But we'd get bored out of our mind. So that's why there's this there's balance. There's no creative outlet if there's you're just no, doing right. simple, simple. simple suds has zero no. creative outlet. Which, by the way, if you did not watch the New Year's video, you should go back and watch. Because there was a lot of information in there. No more little organza bags going on all the lotions. Simple suds has come down in price. So now you get them for six dollars. You could get a whole six pack for thirty. Shipping has stayed at eight dollar flat rate, but you don't get free shipping until you hit ninety nine dollars because everything's gone up. Glass has gone up twelve dollars, twelve percent. Just the cost of swanky sauce has gone up twenty percent for us mm -hmm. in the last two years. So it's like everything, and we're trying not to raise prices, but we had that shipping was where we had to do it. You can't get free shipping at $69, $60, $59, $59 yeah. anymore. We had to bump it up. So that's yeah. all, pretty much all we changed. That's all that went up. Simple Suds went that down. Simple Suds went down. Um, and people love it. We've sold a lot of Simple Suds since we dropped it. People are like, oh, that's awesome. So that speaking of new soap coming out. Oh, we'll get back. wait wait oh, a second. Because that's not coming out until spring. Let's continue talking about February. Because Goat Snuggles launches in February. Oh, yeah, that. So we got a lot of work to do on the calendar, but Goat Snuggles tickets, sneak peek, because only you 445 people know this, that February 1st at noon when the launch happens, the Goat Snuggle ticket purchasing will be available. Um, that will be zero ads running in the background when we just said we spend a lot of money on ads. So what will happen is, is I'll put an announcement out on Facebook, which is really for these these insider people right so it's you you'll have well i mean we're telling youtube now but those who maybe don't follow us on youtube but do follow us on facebook some of our more local people they will you know to they get the early access too um so that small group of you get the early access before we start putting the ads 
behind. Yeah, before goat we start snuggles. spending money to tell the world that goat things snuggles. are changing though for goat snuggles. So Lots of things. We are not running goat snuggles past the end of June. So no July, August, September goat snuggles. So if you want to come, plan your trip April, May, or June. Um, that's a lot went a lot of thought went into that. Um, a lot of it has to do with us doing this the last few years and noticing a huge die off once the babies go home. A lot of people don't come because they are now. There's a couple things that Plus happen. Their kids are out of school. Their kids are out of school. It's now vacation time. It's now too hot to do stuff outside. That's not at the beach or at a water park or something. And we actually had our first person pass out this year or last year. Nine one one ambulance. Ambulance came. He's fine. He's he made full recovery, but it was really scary. And we spent a lot of days out in that sun that were over ninety degrees and like ninety percent. And humidity. unfortunately, that didn't even happen in the middle of the summer. But but it only got worse. Right, it got way hotter throughout the summer. So we're doing. April, May, and June. Yeah. So that's happening. But to accommodate um, the the short season, we are going to open up Goat Snuggles more often during the May, April, May, and June time frame. So we're going to have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday sessions. Our Thursday and Friday session is actually going to be a sunset session. So um, it'll be right at that time where, you know, the sun's going down and it's going to go right into milking and closing up the girls uh, in the evening so now, what we don't know while you're on that that we might we're still working a lot of things out on our end we might that thursday evening friday evening session might actually be an hour and a half and not an hour so the price will be a little different but if it goes straight from snuggle with the goats and oh by the way we got to put them all in the barn um if you're here you stay for that like you get to see them go to bed. You might get to see them get milked before they go in at night and then stop at the store if you want to buy anything on your way out, blah, blah, blah. We're still trying to iron all that out, how that'll work, but that would be a Thursday evening, Friday evening only. We would not do those on Saturdays, Saturdays or Sundays because it would be way yeah, too Yeah, the other thing that I was thinking about was during this um, the sunset snuggle sessions, you don't want me to say it, do you? Uh, not really. Okay, I won't. I think I know where you were going, but no, not really. I don't think we want to get into that yet. Oh, I think it's a great thing, but it's fine if you don't want to. Okay, so where she's going, fine, I'll say it. Go ahead, you say it, and then I'll talk legal. I know legally, like, this is... This there's a lot of issue. I, dots and I's... But go but ahead, we're, say I it. Don't think it's any, I don't think there's anything wrong with it because they're bringing their own anyway so we were going to do a byoy bring your own wine so like after snuggling Wait for an hour B Y O Y, bring your own it was a w okay? w it was wine. a w okay got it because i said wine oh B -Y -O -Y. Got wine got it okay, okay. Yeah, got it, it was my i said y and yeah, yeah. didn't do the n at the end yeah yeah, yeah. okay so it's a byo w yeah yeah mm -hmm. where you snuggle for the sunset snuggles for an hour and then you bring your own wine we do not provide it we do not take any responsibility for you over drinking whatever but you get to sit uh, you know in the patio area where winnie's just been for the last yeah, you know, we two months. Of poop. Yeah, just put how more, are we gonna do just that put more stone over it that might work it'll be fine you're not picking up poop you're gonna get the tweezers no, out and pick not it at up? All. i don't think mm -hmm. so black rocks um, but then y'all have to, you know, we would have either really fancy wine glasses, like solo cups, because you can't have glass out there. No, um, no glass. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff through. we'd have to think about. It, it is a great idea. It's a great concept. It still maxes at 25 people. We might even max those at only 15 people. We don't know. We're still ironing it all out. And yes, we, there are wineries around you where you could buy it before you come snuggle. Right. So we're still trying to iron all that out. So there's a lot up in the air, which brings me to the concept of what some people are calling village reunion. It's not a reunion. It's going to be called Villager Weekend. Now, if you guys have access to our little black book, which means our phone here, um, that has a whole bunch which of clearly they don't which has a whole bunch of notes on it where we talk about ideas all the time like starting a coffee company or building a headquarters or buying the house across the street or whatever 
we've talked about a villager weekend for years gosh i think it was like the first or second gosh, year it's been for the ogs no because the ones that have been here for you like you know the fun bus that y'all been bus talking about who's gonna drive like who's bringing snacks who's so now picking up who obviously over the last year we've gotten a lot of attention from some of the villagers about wanting to be a part of something and wanting to put this on and turning in how can i help what can i do can i donate could i did in the end after legal advice from our legal counsel and everything else we and i'm not kidding we have to own this experience so with that said april 22nd 23rd is going to, and i think 21st and whatever the whole thursday through sunday it's or whatever, the whole weekend the yeah, whole thing so that thursday through sunday. well 22nd and 3rd are just saturday and sunday mm -hmm. but we'll extend it liz will put something together and put it out on facebook or whatever and i'll put it out in a youtube video that will be considered villager weekend um what's going to be different we're not a hundred percent sure yet um but that's the weekend where we're gonna like basically roll out the red carpet for you guys it's all about you guys that's not all about us so we're hoping to set up like a selfie station maybe do something like name tags that have like when you show up this is the best part i love this idea if you want say you buy a ticket say uh vicky vicky h comes she's like hey i'm coming she bought her tickets we are legally not allowed to tell everybody else that vicky bought a ticket like that's a bad thing to tell this customer that that customer just even though we pick on vicky in youtube videos all the time but people don't know which vicky. right we have like 18 vicky so <laughs> my point is if you buy tickets for that weekend and you shoot us an email and say, hey, Liz, Aaron, uh, it's Vicky. I just bought tickets. I want a name tag when I get there. And my real name is whatever. Like, because some people's screen names are not their real name. And you tell us, and we're going to make hello, my name is tags that say, hello, my name is typo queen, real name, Sue, or whatever the heck, if you want that. So then when you show up at Villager Weekend, There'll be a folding table with everybody. That, so when you get to the table, you'll be like, oh, my God, I didn't know Chris West was actually coming. You see what I mean? Like you get to see at that. So it's kind of cool. We're also thinking about something that we're going to make that any villager that comes gets to bring home with them. And the only way to get it is to come to that weekend. Right. You can't buy it on our website. You can't whatever. You can come with it. You get to take it home in your carry-on or in your luggage or whatever. And it's just a little keepsake that I went to Villager Weekend 2023. Mm -hmm. um, I am still communicating with the two local hotels. They are not the easiest to work with. But the Holiday Inn in Norwich and the Hampton Inn in Norwich, those are the two that we currently recommend. We lost another subscriber. Um, but uh, well, actually, I think we lost two. Um but in the end, those are not our people and they are not coming to Villager Weekend. <laughs> so my point is, it's going to be a great weekend if you want to be around other villagers. Um, we've heard from others that are like, oh, I don't want to go on that weekend. Yeah. They're like, no, uh, that's the last thing I want. I like hanging out with people in chat or I like watching, you know, from, but I don't want to be there. So we're like, we got to respect that some people don't want to do that. So that's what it is. Now, if this is where I'm just going to put it out there. Anybody listening, if we were the Patriots and we were a football team and we were planning a game and you guys were big fans of us, the Patriots, and you wanted to hold a tailgating party in the parking lot, you could do that, but it's just not sanctioned by us. So in other words, if you are a villager and you want to do something to help other villagers, you can do that, but it's just not sanctioned by us. And it's not happening here on the farm. So if you want to have a dinner at a hotel with 10 other villagers, go right ahead. You want to book out a whole wing at a hotel for you and 10 other villagers, go right ahead. It, it just can't be under the Simon Says Farm's name because our attorney and our insurance guys are like, oh, no, don't get into that. Um, so, like, you guys do what you want, but we're here to, like, have a great old time. That's, that's, I hope I made myself clear and all this it's going to be fun but it can't be what some people want but it's going to be super yeah. cool so 
that's that's what I got. Any questions, shoot me an email. That's it. I think I'm done. Okay. Did, it, did I explain that okay? Yes. Anybody understand? No, like, it's going to be cool. No, I'm not actually buying a red carpet, but hey, maybe I will. Right. You know? Uh, no, you cannot camp on the property. You can't camp on the property. Once and, uh, Snuggles is over, it's over. You yes. got to go. You don't you, have to. You don't have to go, you but you got to go get home, the hell up out of here. stay here. You're right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, we can have a lot of fun with, you know, it, it is always a lot of fun to be able to match faces with names that we've been seeing and getting to know and, and everything you guys share in chat. Like there's a piece of us that feels like we know you, but then when we, we actually meet people, it's like, no, now we really like know you. Not, right. Like, right. Right. I not like it. you're, I don't know, but it's, it's like, it, it creates that next level of like, oh, wow. So like the next time I see you in chat, it's like, oh, I know you. And <laughs> you guys talking about camping, there literally is a campground in walking distance from our farm. You yeah. could, you guys know where our farm is. Like our packages get shipped to you. Right. Um, but right down the road, there are people that camp there and walk to us. By okay. all means, you can book a campsite. If They even have cabins. For those of you that yeah. don't have tents and campers, if you get in soon enough, you could probably rent one of their cabins and literally walk here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think for that weekend, because in the past we have taken cams down, for that weekend we will let everybody know that the cams will stay live. So, yep. Yeah. Because it's villager. Weekend. Correct. Hundred yep. percent. Not everybody who's going to attend that twenty second and twenty third are going to be villagers. We can't no. close down the farm just to villagers. Um. So there might be some people who show up that we'll aren't tell them. villagers, but they'll just know like, hey, this is kind of a special weekend. So there's a bunch of people who right. are no meeting, audio, meeting up here um, who know each other from chat because they watch this cam and, and it'll be, we'll just kind of bridge that. We'll bridge that gap. And that it's already written in our, uh, uh, help me out, waiver. in our waiver that it's a photo release that we're allowed to have a camera running because yeah. you sign when you sign the waiver anyways. But not a lot of people read the waiver. So we'll just explain that that weekend that, hey, it's Villager weekend. We're leaving the cams on and it'll be this one and this one. And that's it. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, these are the only two. Charlotte, camps. Um, Diana and went back to Charlotte's Garden. Yes, it is not available, not available. We're just not in stock right now. Um, we're making a change in our label um, for that specific fragrance of lotion. And it will be available February 1st Coming during back. our February valentine's day launch and yeah. uh but charlotte's garden will always be around we just had to do some updating to the label and while we were low in inventory so right now there's no inventory but there will be um february 1st yeah i just saw that question you just said because i was thinking the same thing for all of those that can't make it that could be a fun cam weekend to watch well, um, especially if they're they have name tags on so now right. everybody in chat can be like oh that's Right. And if so somebody exciting. wanted to, they could walk up to the camera and wave and whatever. And I know we have some villagers that come and they don't like the cameras on. So right. we might have to figure out how to do that. Like, hey, um, the camera's on and you just got to warn them and be like, just so you know, if you go in there. Yeah, that's it. So that was it. Right. But yeah, we will leave it on for that weekend. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, see, this is my point. Exactly. This is like being at a football game. This is exactly what you guys can do. Now, we have to be careful, too, that um, in our rules of chatting, it does say that you're not allowed to solicit personal information from another chatter. However, this is the gray this area. This is kind of like the exception. This is the to exception the rule. to the rule. You guys are becoming friends. You want to carpool to this event. You want to like, hey, what hotel are you staying in? Some of that information is not going to flow through a public chat. So, like, yeah, of course you're going to have to reach out to each other behind the scenes. But make it quick. Make it quick. Make it appropriate. Delete it, delete it as soon as you you know like, the other just, person got it written down. Like, like just protect your privacy. Pr protect yourself and protect the fact. That Facebook messages are great, but sometimes if your chat if your chat name you can't find that person, join the Facebook group, Simon Says Farms Live. Then you guys can meet up there, 
and private message each other that way. You don't even have to be but, friends with somebody on Facebook to private message them. But it all comes down to we can't like. Uh, I don't, it you has to post, be mutual. There you go. That's yes, the word. But that's what I mean. Part. If you post right. something in the Facebook group, right? Then and say, hey, I'm in Ohio. Anybody else traveling from Ohio and would like to carpool? Right. You can post something like that in the Simon Says Farms live page. There's nothing that says you can't, especially because this is about right. coming to Villager Weekend. I know some people. And we can put that part. there, and then you guys can meet up that way. And, again, you can mes message each other without having to cross into the friend zone right. with you know on Facebook. It doesn't have to be super personal, but you guys can meet up there and get yeah some messages done privately behind the scenes. I feel like I have to say this because it's one of those like, this is our business. This is exciting. All the YouTubers of the world that I talk to are like, you, do you, it. you are effing crazy. Stupid. Like you let your YouTube community come to your house. Like that is nuts. Like it is nuts. And we have to continue to protect it. It goes back to, I don't want a hundred million followers. I don't. Because there will be a day if we continue to grow and grow and grow and grow that goat snuggles won't be an option anymore. And we don't want that to happen. So we have to protect the way we do things to the point where if you are not allowed to chat in this chat room and you've been banned, you are not allowed at goat snuggles. Like it's that simple. Mm -hmm. And if we find out somebody tried to smuggle somebody else in, you are now blocked and you are not allowed and we already have the local state police on our side. They're like, what, we have YouTubers in town? And we're like, yeah. They're like, oh, that's pretty cool. What do you need help with? Oh, we have people from all around the world that may come here and they're like, really, to Salem? And we're like, yeah. And they're like, oh. And like, uh, I don't know if you've been re reading Wikipedia, but we're right, all over but we're it. big. Like, <laughs> we're huge. We're, so, no. <laughs> so we have to play, it's weird to be in a position where like a goat farmer, we make some soap, and we have to meet with the state police to talk to them about a little party we want to throw. Like, like it's kind of like, this sucks that we have to have this conversation, yeah. but we do. But so. that's where, I mean, you're talking about maybe, you know, a couple percentages oh, of you of guys. Course. Like, so that's where it's like, you know. Right. Yeah, of course. It's called we'll, dotting we'll, your I's and crossing your T's. We'll go down all of this and right. we'll do it and we'll have fun. And we just have to make sure that in right. the, at the end of the day, everybody is safe and have a great time yeah and it's good that our best friends are in the fbi atf atf sorry still fbi ATF. whatever close enough. sure yeah he carries a gun for a living like that's what he does so he might have to come to smuggler weekend yeah I'm just... smuggler weekend smuggler <laughs> week. it's back to the shipping container <laughs> yeah. smuggler weekend so all that's coming out soon the whole thursday night like sunset snuggles will we light the bonfire and allow people to bring wine we don't know or that gets a little iffy but um, it's all coming out soon. It's very exciting. So it is. It's it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. But it's yeah. And if anybody rents an Airbnb that's on the ocean and has a dock with its own boat, let me know because we're coming down. Because he's salty. <laughs> Everybody's saying, well, what about the house across the street? Turns oh. out it's a dive. Okay, without getting too into it, she just said it. Oh, my it is, God. It is worth land value. It was close, guys. It It'll be worth close. more charred than it would. Yeah, it would be worth more to bulldoze it. Oh, but my God. I don't want to throw the guy under the bus. I almost didn't want to say all that, but it's it's pretty bad. So there you go. It's not happening. You we honestly even, think he's in chat we, right now watching we, us? He no. doesn't even know what we do for a living. No, it, we even it. looked at another place that was beautiful. It's like six miles down the road, and we oh, almost cool. got a whole row of them. Six units we could have rented out during Goat Snuggles. It would have been amazing. You guys would have had a whole row. It would have turned into Villager Party Central. And in the end, he never got back to me. He actually didn't. Well, so he had to do his own legal stuff. Yeah, he had to talk to us. Because it is right. a 55 and older community. So there's going to be rules and laws that not even just the town makes, but that whole 55 plus community throws in there. Like, no, you can't do that. Yeah. Um, and, but he was willing to work with us. I just think legal stuff got in the way there. Yeah. So, I mean, if he comes back to me in a week or two and it's like, hey, we can make this work, we might have one unit. 
But other than that, if he can't get to us by like February 1st, it's not happening. Because we would No, need... it was not the house. That house was not the house that caught fire a couple years no, ago. No, no, no. That was two houses down. Yeah, there and are. And they've actually rebuilt. They've moved back in. It's great that they're back. Yeah, they're back. Yep. Yeah. No, but there was a brand new 55 and older community built about six miles down the road with 50 little. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Brand new. Everything. Everything. Brand new. Just so built. Cute. $11 million. Um, and he was willing to rent us like six units all in a row and allow us to, be like sub Villager row. to sublease. The problem is we had to rent it for the whole year. Which and is not, I when doing the math, it was not going to be a problem. I, well, it all depends ish, on ish. how many villagers would actually come out. We, yeah. it's, it's a risk and we were not willing to take that risk of six units. Well, it wouldn't at, even matter because he, yeah, he never got back. I don't so. think it, so as of right now, we don't have any location. We do not have Simon Says Farms Hotel. No. Simon Says Hotel. What would we call it? Hotel Simon. Simon. I don't know. B&B. I don't Who know. Who knows? But we don't have it. So, I don't know. yeah. Yeah. Not yet. We'll see. Yeah. So you guys all work together, obviously, politely, nicely. You could use our the Facebook group for that. I think the Facebook group would be good because then you guys can have, it's a closed group. You have to be an approved member. Joe Schmo can't be watching. Because right now, anybody could be watching. Right. There's 397 of you in here. There's not 397 people talking. Right. So you never know who's watching. So it's safer to go over to the Facebook group. Y'all are pre-approved. Y'all agreed to the terms and conditions of chatting there nicely and, you know, and whatnot. And if you make a post and you say, hey, I'm interested in going to Villager Weekend. I live here. Anybody want a carpool or whatever? Then you guys can you guys can kind of collaborate there in a safer place yeah and you can even bring it to private message without having to friend that person on facebook and now they have access to all of your news feeds and stuff that you can still remain your kind of private kind yeah. of more private but less private you guys can still have yeah. a private conversation without um being friends on facebook so. yeah Yep. Uh, da, 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 da. I was looking at wow, you guys are very like, that's pretty cool. I see Michigan, anyone, South Carolina, like that's cool. Yeah. It's good stuff. You know? Um, yeah. We do hope. Anyone uh, want a carpool from the UK? From the UK. <laughs> I'll build a raft. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, man. We do hope. We, we are, I don't, Angie. I don't know if you're still in there. We never talked about. We never talked about this with them yet, but I do hope, depending on what we start getting, when the tickets start selling and people start emailing, because I'll be honest, people have bought tickets to come to Goat Snuggles. They've waited their 30 days, whatever. They get out of the car in our front yard and they start crying as they walk across the front yard. And I'm like, hello. And they're like, <laughs> and I'm like, who are you? Like, I don't know who you are. <laughs> don't be rude. I'm like, I don't say it like that, but they're like, I've been watching for three years. So in other words, we have no idea when these no. tickets start selling. No so idea. I ask that when you buy a ticket, email us, say, hey, this is the weekend we're coming. We are coming to Villager, Snuggle Weekend, whatever, or we're coming to a different, whatever. We just like to know. So that way we know, because if we get a decent amount of villagers coming on villager weekend i'm gonna ask uncle kevin and angie and like the crew to be here because mm -hmm. that these people know these it's like oh my right. god i watched angie's purple hair for four years i've watched uncle kevin build things like yeah. we'll get jace we'll try to get the whole team involved in that weekend um, um regarding the chat for the UK group, so they know when babies are born. Absolutely, just somebody has to take Pinterest. take the lead on that. Yeah. So again, set that up through the live page on Facebook, and somebody spearheads that group. And I think they did that one year. It's a good point. When babies coming, don't forget to sign up for the babies. I'm gonna try to find it while I'm talking. Um, I think it's under here. Uh, inside babies 23. There it is. Um. Don't forget to sign up for that if you haven't. It's right here, too. It's there, too. Look at that. Um, but I know you're right. Outside of what that app works for, didn't they have, like, an email thing or something? It was somebody Somebody took the lead on that, and they had so many people from all around the world right. that were on that chain. 
Um, it could have been a Facebook private yeah. message group. Yeah, it could have been that. that makes sense. I don't remember. You guys figured and it you out. Just all were added to that group, and when a baby was born, you get a ding. Yep. Through yep. Facebook. So, yeah. Can Angie <laughs> sell side tickets for her? her no. No. <laughs> no. I do not no. recommend that, Angie. Don't yeah. recommend. Yeah. Do not recommend. Nope. Yeah. Um, no. 130. Whoa, 123 a.m. Still early. Still early? That's late. Oh, That's well. What it is in the UK. Depending on how you think about that. Um, it is early or it's late. Depending, the, on... depending on if you're still awake or you just got up. Yeah. 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 Um, um, yeah, it was a, it was a group message through Facebook Messenger. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. All right. Were there any more talking points on our end? Talking points on our little sheet behind the mm -hmm. scenes? No. There are not any more there. And any photos that you gave me to upload prior to all this, let's go from the top. Here oh, we no, go. no, not again. Here we go. Me with crazy cupcakes. Boy. Tyler learning how to weld. Oh. He's going to be so good. He's enjoying it. Even Stella's like snore fast. The Winnie Cupcake coming soon. We already talked about that. What was this? Oh, so when it was actually winter a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah, for like Winnie's, a day. Yeah, Winnie's heated water bucket didn't um, keep up with the ice. And so that was the chunk of ice that we pulled out of Winnie's God. water bucket, which looked like a perfect like crystal bowl yep. that you would pay some good money for in the in the store that was my um restocking of moolala so this time sometimes i change up the artisan bars a little bit um and this time i was feeling pretty festive so i put some sprinkles on top of it since it's moolala it needs a little color in its life so i was hoping that these I, it's the first time i ever put these tiny little um, I'm looking at the picture, the tiny little sprinkles on top. And I was hoping that when the soap heat heats up, because it cooks naturally, just chemical reaction, oh. that it was going to make those sugar beads melt a little bit and blend into each other. And it'd be kind of a cool watercolor effect, but they didn't, they stayed, which is still pretty cool. So there's some cool stuff going on in the chat. We got some more members gifted oh, just yay. now from Northern Lights and... Liz, Piper's picture's coming to you next week. That's the oh diamond gosh, art I can't one. Wait. Yeah. 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 We got to do a redesign of this. I know. One day. Just don't even tell them and go live. No, and you just said. Hold back. They don't need to know. It's not happening by next month. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Um, that's just a picture of Winnie. Yep. Picture of Winnie. So actually, okay, that, there's a funny story with okay. that picture. I'll bring it that back. That picture was supposed to be a video. Oh, yeah, and you put Remember the day that Winnie and Winston were reunited? Yep. I took a bunch of pictures. They were all supposed to be video. Right. She was not happy with herself. No. No. And I was not happy. When you push the record button and you're still on camera. And so I got a really cute picture of Winnie coming over, but... Oh, we saw that question. I'm not going to pop it up on the screen about who nursed the longest. I don't know. We don't know. Bonnie is at 10 months. I think Gia really Gia, it's got to be yeah. Gia was nursing I think she tried to nurse while yeah while uh Gus yeah she tried yeah we caught Chai you know in her little bed almost trying to nurse on Piper yes oh no Chai was absolutely trying to nurse on Piper last night yeah it was crazy enough. and Piper doesn't care no there's nothing in there like yeah. absolutely nothing in there it's inflated balloons it's mm -mm. yeah but Piper still stands there. Look at that cute little face. Well, they're not seeing that face we right now. You're right seeing now. that face. That's called a delay. Um, I don't know what this I picture see. is. Oh. So this was. Um, Jake and Maxwell. This is how we we dog sit. Yeah. We got to dog sit Maxwell for Christmas into just before New Year's. And I routinely found Jake in his pen with him. And in this case, they both fell asleep. Yep. Yep. You already showed these hearts. Yep, little hearts. Those are my little be mine hearts. I don't know what this picture is, so just warning oh, everybody. No. Oh. Oh, it's that was like their reunited photo. Yeah, I like we're back. Posted it on Facebook and that was 
not easy to get, even though it doesn't look that look like it's that good. A little chai in the snow. She's not a fan. Not a fan. And then the last one I see here, I think, um, is we <gasps> set, we found this bald eagle outside today. Mm -hmm. It's just today. I this was afternoon. checking on House of Pie because Gianna was creating a scene, and it really sounded serious. So I was like, fine. I'll go over, check on her, and then found that the boys didn't throw enough hay. So I threw a bunch of hay. And then you came over and you're like, look up in the tree. And there was a bald eagle up in the tree, just kind of actually, you know what that bald eagle? That bald, put the picture back up there. What that okay. bald eagle is looking to the left. Oh, correct? that was hilarious. That yes. bald eagle is actually looking at Gianna, going, What the hell are, is your problem? You're creating a scene. Because it was she looking was. straight first. Yeah. When and I was, then Gianna was screaming. Yeah. And then the bald eagle was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I took the picture this way and House of Pie was off that way. So the bald eagle turned its head to look at Gianna. Gianna was creating all, making a scene. All, all the noise. Yep. 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 Okay. There Cute. we go. It's a little long, but you guys like it. Yeah, but you got to, like, you got to get the whole thing because, you know, regular motion just wouldn't do it justice. You have to watch it in slow motion for the true effect yeah. and joy that that peppermint brought, Winnie. This now, there were four peppermints. I was going to bring, I was trying to give them to Winston and she wouldn't let me give it to him. Yeah. None of them. All four of them went into her little mouth. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think that concludes. Yeah, it's dinner time. This episode. Or more time for pretzels. Of Q. Depending on what. Do you guys want one more? They do. They want one more. Hang on. Hold up. Here it is. Yum, yum, yum. Pretzel. There you go. Even Stella's like, what? Oh, like, oh House of Pie Cams. What are we doing about that? Oh. Because it doesn't seem to be working. So. Oh. Let me finish my pretzel. Hold on, we're not done yet. But wait, there's more. Wait, there's more. I said it a few weeks ago, a few days ago, when you guys do these super chat things and whatever. We try to put a lot of that money right back into our YouTube setup. Whether it's this fancy stuff so we can play around and have... Ow! You just stabbed me with your nail, you weird dog. I'm sure a weird dog was your first choice. <laughs> no, it was yeah. not. I held back. I know. Um, But... Wait a second. Lurker here. So thankful for you all. Best channel. Oh, thank you. Oh. That's one of our people. Yeah. That is right there. One of our. Um, Apparently, none of you who've been just been talking the all last, of them. All the of them. The last all two and a half hours. If you're still here, you're our people. It's the lurk. <laughs> but um, we did buy another computer, a used one, just like our car, used. A used computer from like some business that shuts down. Now it's got good power to it, like all the bells and whistles. You know, the speed, the memory, all that weird stuff. I got to get it hooked up. That computer is going to take over all of House of Pie's camera stuff. And the other computer is going to do Cassie's Castle. So it's going to kind of like split the load. We're hoping that works. If that doesn't do it. And then that means, by the way, I know we have a Winnie camera right now, which is technically the portable camera we need to start using for Wacky Wednesdays if we do a couple of those in the dead of winter. And um, the camera we use during kidding season when you get real close to the moms. I don't know how long we're going to keep a Winnie Winston camera up all the time. I don't know. Because that's run on a totally different software and it's weird. If I can get both computers to work, the goal is to have House of Pie and Cassie's Castle up 24-7. Um, I literally just got another part in the mail today to make that happen. So... You know, between the kitchen remodel and the field that needs to be done and now this computer work because all the parts are here and I can finally walk again. I still can't carry anything, even though I broke that rule 
yesterday. You break all the rules. Well, I need to get stuff done. And oh, because I wasn't. No, you I were amazing. Right there. You were amazing. I was but very capable of I'm, doing that. I feel like I'm four weeks behind. And now I'm even behind on a coloring project that I was supposed to do in those four weeks. Stop, Kathy. That's Stop because. It. It's a lot of pretzels. That's yeah. because you should have been coloring. I know. During for the my four, four weeks. weeks. Yeah. And then you wouldn't be be behind on the right. coloring. So hopefully my goal is to get that computer up and running. And we'll hold off on the pretzels for a while. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, she's funny. yeah, my goal is to get that computer up and running, get you guys House of Pie 24-7 and Cassie's Castle 24-7. That's the goal. That's the goal. That's the goal. We're working on it. Not eight cameras in Cassie's Castle, even though I have thought of it. So no. now we're done. Let's work on two that work consistently. That's the that's the plan. Two that work consistently, and we don't keep getting that. The other challenge, I'll just put it out there from a technology standpoint, House of Pi just might be too far away. That's also the, the other issue. The amount of cabling we have to run, you think about it, there's over from that camera is all the way on the other side of House of Pi. So House of Pi alone is 50 feet. Then you got to go down 10. Then you got to go underground 300. And then you got to go from the farm store underground another 200 back to Cassie's Castle. Then from Cassie's Castle, underground another 50 to the garage. And then from the garage all the way to the closet that runs everything, that's too far. I'll tell you right now, that's too far, and we're trying to make it work. So, yeah. with used 10-year-old equipment. Um, so. Winnie and Winston Camp isn't going anywhere no. anytime soon. Uh, yeah. So, during kidding season, it's going to look different because it's right. going to be part of Baby Watch Camp. Wherever Winnie and Winston are in their own pens, we might not have to. We might we might not be able to watch Winnie and Winston all during the, right, all hitting season because we have to watch the moms. And but Winnie and Winston will remain in Cassie's castle. They'll be together. They'll have each other. Right. It'll you know when it's slow, we can move a cam over there. We can get you know. We just want to make sure that we don't run out of. Um, network like yeah. last year we ran out of network and we were shut oh down oh my god well, that's been fixed though we now pay two internet bills for those people that care we have a home <laughs> internet bill and we have a dedicated business class super high-end very expensive youtube only internet right. bill and during that and time we, we did, haven't been throttled at all we haven't it's a knock on wood it's been working ever since and that came down right in the middle of kidding season last year yes when all that hell broke loose so we fixed it right in March, April of last year. Right. And now it's fixed. Hopefully it works. So we shouldn't run into that problem. Right. I hope. Right. If we do, I'm going to be really upset. A lot of bad words. Many. Yeah. Many bad so words. So we've put a lot, technology-wise, we've put in a lot. We've put in new routers. We've ran new cabling. We've got new cameras. we got a new computer. We've got new internet. I mean, we've dropped thousands of dollars and work and time to not have this year's kidding season crash, crash technology wise like last year right yeah so hopefully we're in a good spot that's really oh, all yeah. i'm trying to say there's only so much you can do only it, so much I mean, the planning is yeah there's a saying my mom knows i'm saying she says it all the time no you say it too oh yeah right which one go something about like your failure to plan does not become my priority. That no, one, because I was like, that no. doesn't hold here. <laughs> planning, planning is only as good as the first punch in the face or something. Oh, like Mike Tyson. Yeah. Mike Tyson saying, saying was, "Plans are great until you oh, get punched it. in the face. Mm -hmm. You have to readjust." That's his whole plan. You have a plan going out there in the boxing ring. Yeah, until you, you get, get punched, punched in the face, in the face and then you need to replan. Your, your plan's done. Reality. You have to readjust. You have to go by the yeah. So, I mean, to be. Okay, here we go again. I don't want to say be honest. That's so stupid. You should just be honest all the time. Don't warn people when you're going to actually be honest. Because that means you've been lying means... to them this whole time. <laughs> right. right. I tried teaching Tyler that today. Tyler, if you tell something, hey, you're the greatest, but you smell kind of funny. Well, then guess what? They're not the greatest because you just told them. You can't tell them something nice, but blah, blah. that means you just told them something nice because you didn't want to hurt your feelings and it wasn't really just. The word but negates everything you just said before it. Like we learned that in like sales 101 back in the day. Right. Um, the next level, if this YouTube live stream 24 7 thing continues, which it is going to continue, but 
would literally be to hire a professional accountant. Well, after last hire kidding some, season, so during so during last kidding season, I I literally told you line in the sand. This is what needs to happen. We tried so that this doesn't happen again, and then you didn't do it. We so. did. Uh, we did. We called. So this is the problem. We're very unique individuals, and we have a very unique need. I called multiple IT companies. And what's the first question they asked me? I'm a business owner. I need an IT company, internet techno IT, internet technology, right? Whatever. They go, how many seats do you have? And I'm like, that doesn't matter. They're like, okay, what seats means how many cubicles? Because that means how many licenses of Microsoft Office can I sell you? That's what they're asking, because that's how they make money. They don't make money off a router and a, and a running cable underground. They make money off of selling you software year over year over year. And if you have 800 employees, they love you. And I was like, zero seats. And I was like, I need somebody that can bring in all new hardware, manage it, be able to watch it from their little office in Florida or whatever. And when it goes down. No, babe, they're they, not, it's not an office in Florida. It's a boat in Florida. Boat in Florida, whatever. And like manage our network remotely. And if something's wrong, you get on the phone with Comcast and start yelling at them. So I can help birth out baby goats. And you guys can just manage and run the network. None of them were interested. Not a single one. They were all like, yeah, that's not what we do. That's not what we do. That's not what we do. And I'm like, ugh. So yeah, it was, we tried. So we're still running it all yeah all of it all of this fun stuff still us yeah yeah yep. okay well now we're done see that Look was at that. Fun. You got a little bonus 20 minute rant about technology it's fun until it's not yep. yeah yep did i miss something here mm. somebody says Does winston yes. still smell like boy not really no none of them i wouldn't do. think so yeah none of them do now um when aaron when you do shorts do you get money well supposedly just starting this year youtube is making it so shorts will pay the creator but i actually have a screenshot on my phone this is funny just for those that, that, that we'll just let's He's see just still talking yeah this We're is trying to go this is hilarious though if everybody's I can, like bye see you later if i could find Great it q a and he's still talking if i could find it it's just good for this claudia question here it is ready right we're, we're making money on youtube ready here it here comes here it comes this is what happens when this you, is how much money we're is, making this is what happens when you start making money on youtube Ooh, where are you gonna spend it that's 53 cents just so we know that's what that was that's so, like one and a half kilowatts so yeah that's it that's, that's not feeding chai chai it doesn't even feed her <laughs> it doesn't even feed chai yeah so yes oh man it can happen but uh, yes, uh, I'm tired, Jan. He's not reading okay. between the eyelids. <laughs> They're getting smaller. The space between my eyelids are getting smaller. All right, we're going now. See you later. <laughs> what bye time is bye it? Bye. Is it, it nine o'clock yet? No, no. This okay. computer says five forty-two. Eight forty-two. Eight forty-two. I was supposed to be in bed twelve. This is why we ago. only do these like once a month now. Well, see you later. All right. So I'm going to take my 52 cents and I'm going to go now. She's like exploding. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.